Guys, make sure you're following us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. It massively helps us out. Enjoy the episode. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pitchside. We are joined by me. You normally you introduce you, me. Yeah, well, I was going to, but you usually do the Sorry. high. Woo! Sorry, someone in the last episode said, don't give Theo a coffee before... <laughs> Before we, we start filming Because I get too excited Oh uh, don't take the comments on board Then we'll never talk about anything no, actually, controversial I, try, I actually try to stay away from the comments Because they always take the piss But um, my we are honoured Oh sorry Go ahead Yeah I was going to say We're honoured today to be joined by another Arsenal fan As if people couldn't get enough of the gooners on here um, Yeah the wonderful Joel Bayer Host of a plethora of things You're an <laughs> unbelievable presenter You run What do you Is it It's like co-ran The five YouTube channel uh, Well <laughs> Cheeky Sport is my thing. Cheeky Sport um, is your thing. Five, yeah. I'm a part of five team now as well. Yeah. In front of camera, behind the scenes as well. Man, uh, man you know, working with people that I've grown up, watched as mm. well. Uh, looking to work with you guys in the future as well. 100%. And loads of as wells. <laughs> Joel <laughs> Bayer, thank you for having me. Man. And you obviously uh, played alongside the greatest Come player on. in Sunday League football. Come on. <laughs> We played the Rebel FC. I know. Rebel FC. And I've got some funny stories at <laughs> for Rebel. How I've I stepped on Reeves' foot in the beginning. Like I think, like I think you probably did. But we, we were defending I was together. Honestly, and yeah. And I was so unfit. You know when you're unfit, yeah. yeah and you just start like slogging around. Yeah, yeah. This <laughs> Putting guy your hating body here. Like, he no, me, no, I never. Nah, nah. You really. It's one of those where. You know the person that you're playing with is such a nice person, but you're just like, I know, I pick was, it up, man. I, it was defend. honestly, and it took me like three games. Yeah. I think we went like far. We traveled really yeah. far once. He was and then he we quit, played. He just couldn't hack it. Did he? Was yeah. it part of the team? He played he first game. Innit? Yeah, he played first game. He went. To, you remember the original training session yeah. we had in like the I West Ham? Got that. And uh, I don't know what it is like under twenty one training ground. Yeah, he trained at West Ham. We went somewhere. Yeah, it was it was, like it was definitely West Ham related. It had like the irons badge. So you tell me so. you didn't form an unreal centre back partnership? Or did no, we, you? well we did at the end, but then I got shifted to right yeah, back. Yeah, it didn't last yeah, long. Yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah. No, but because what's his name was there? Will. Oh, Will, Will. Bossu, mate. What a player. Was he the tall one? Yeah, really the black tall. guy didn't have hair. Massive. Bold. Not he, not massive. But it's like he was my unit. Like my height. Just a unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must be talking about the same guy because yeah. there weren't too many. He left an impact on me. Like a mental impact. Plays like under the, uh, plays yeah, yeah, under the radar. Under the radar. Yeah, yeah. 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 Who, who, who did about. you play for? Phenomenal. I played for hashtag. Did we we didn't play them. Uh, uh, may, maybe in the uh, Wembley. I weren't pl- yeah, I weren't I was playing play, by was them. Did we never play was it Wembley the first meeting? No, because no, because the um oh, the remember the games beforehand. Yeah, you played for like some funny teams, innit? I'm sure. Like when we played Paul Merson and yeah. oh, I was, think what, they got smashed, mate. No, oh, no, we played we played uh, Trevor Sinclair. There's Paul history, Merson. yeah, that, that, that team. Game. But I don't think you were in it though. Maybe not. No. Uh, Listen, mate. There's it. history here. There's history here. I, yeah. I did play against Paul Merson in five aside. Yeah, you oh, I played so with you. That's where I met you. And um, oh, we smashed it. Who's the Chelsea? Dennis. Uh, Dennis Wise. Dennis Wise. Come on. Goes back. Well, there you can see. It's yeah. just a, an extensive it was network Ars- of football in Ars- legends that Arsenal you know, beat really, Chelsea. Yeah, that was that was. Yeah, we yeah, beat yeah, them, man. We smashed wise. them. Like, it was real wow. easy. He was at uni at the, at the Who time. Who were you playing for? Just, I, just... I was playing for Arsenal. Oh, yeah. I was at uni at the time, wasn't I? Yeah, you was at I uni at the up. time. Like, it was the first time. I just thought, oh, really good guys, solid content creator, just whatever. Mm. And we just stayed in touch since. And now we've come full circle and you're on our podcast. Come on. Which we can't thank you enough for. did it, baby. Come on. Yeah. So. So what are we talking about today, boys? Uh, well, I want to I want to bring it back. I want to bring it back. How you got into this space? Yes. The space, man. Wait, wait, how, how old are you? Yeah, I'm 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 you lot's daddy. If I'm honest. No, with you. no, yeah. Nah, yeah. We've had James I, yeah. Alcott on, and he's no, 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 surprisingly no, 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 a lot. No, 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 Twenty-eight. No, no, no. I'm older than no. Nah, he's being mid, nice. Mid, mid I'm thirty-four. Ah, I'm thirty-four. Yeah. That's only a couple years older than Calfreezy. <laughs> yeah, Cal, Maybe Cal, like one or two. <laughs> he's only, I think he's like 31, 32, isn't he? Is Cal? he still 20? Yeah, like Cal, <laughs> yeah. Cal is like the youngest, richest guy that's walking <laughs> yeah. in there. Like, it's mad. But um, yeah, how it started for me, you know, I, I, okay, I'll be really honest with you. Like, when I was younger, I was, I was trying to be a rapper, guys. I'm not going to lie. Really? Like, I was into grime or whatever. And I started, I had a studio and I would invite the best MCs in the area. So at the time, this was years ago. I'm talking about like 15 years ago. You're talking about Crept, Conan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, and then years later, 
a young Stormzy, 13 year old with a backpack. Really? They all, yeah, they all used to come. Uh, Stormzy probably only came once or twice. But, you ever have Kano? But uh, no, because oh. he's from East. Okay. We were like from, we were like, back then it was all the East guys. We were like really underground right and i used to like <laughs> corrupt fm literally cor- li- li- <laughs> yeah. even more underground than yeah. corrupt yeah. FM. like it was it was mad like yeah. and then what happened after that is i formed like friendships with a few of these people and then i kind of like stopped the music thing but then what happened was that i saw that we were in a time where people can just be who they wanted to be so the musicians not only were they doing music but it became a, a real career yeah mm. you know a real career yeah yeah and then i thought to myself bloody heck like i kind of like was a little bit upset with my mum and dad guys because they were always just like, you just got to go uni and just whatever. Yeah. So that's why I could relate to you yeah. when you kind of just stopped. But I didn't just stop. So <laughs> I, I, couldn't, I couldn't just do that. My dad would have killed me. So I went to uni, yeah. I finished uni eventually. What did you right? study? That's, that's better than 66% yeah. of this table. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I did economics and banking. Oh shit. Right, yeah. So I did that and I literally kind of like, but I, was st- I still had a chip on my shoulder. Not because I, was, I wasn't upset that the other guys were doing well. I was actually really inspired, but I was actually had a chip on my shoulder with my parents because mm. I thought, you guys have made me come and do this and yeah. fair enough, it's good, but I know that I want to be more than what yeah. you lot want me to be. Yeah. And um, cut story short, I started going, working in the pharmaceutical industry, right, as an analyst real random <laughs> and um but i was like traveling the world it was like a really good job like yeah, yeah. it was a really good city job yeah um worked for az as well funnily enough AstraZeneca. Oh, really before, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway then after that but during that time it was kind of like when twitter was popping and just after bb whatsapp had started oh yeah 2013 yeah yeah 14 and i remember the good era of social yeah, media yeah exactly yeah, yeah. i just started thinking my friends are flipping funny like they are hilarious yeah. and i was thinking hang on a minute all these whatsapp jokes and i'm not getting paid for none of yeah, them yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i just thought someone's making money here yeah. i had no idea about brands i just thought someone's making hold on my alarm keeps going someone's <laughs> making money here and i'm not getting none of it so then what i did i got some of my close friends and i literally rented out a room uh, a space kind of like this and um i sat down all my mates whatever and i did like a little quiz and the filming was crap. Everything was rubbish. Yeah, yeah. But for whatever it is, you guys might be able to relate. I thought, there's something in this. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah. No one's done it before, by the way. There yeah. was no debate shows and what you see now. I just thought, there's something in this. Yeah. So then the next week, I asked my friends to come back. And they were like, nah, I'm busy. And I thought, ah, what do I do? So then at the time, I partnered up with Dave. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. Dave used to be at Cheeky Sport and Akeem. And then there was a couple of us that were serious. And then we said, I just started going to games, like trying. And then we thought, why don't we just keep going to games? Because there's a story, but every week there's a a narrative, but it's a different story. Yeah, absolutely. You have to be different characters. Different characters. So then what we were doing, I weren't really in front of camera that much at the time. I thought to myself, let me... Let me just see if I can like rent some guys or presenters or whatever. And a lot of them will turn around and go, it's too hard. You're doing more than one team. Mm. And then I remember getting <laughs> upset thinking, well, <laughs> let me tell you something, mate. If it's too easy, then everyone will be doing yeah, it. Absolutely. And they kept quitting. So then me and Dave got on the phone one day and I said, Dave, we might have to do this ourselves. Right. And that's thus Cheeky Sport Joel and Cheeky Sport Dave was yeah. kind of created. We traveled to Manchester. Um, at the time, full-time devils were like, Everything, yeah. Neil Smythe, you know, oh, all that. Yeah, yeah. literally, yeah. He used Wait, to run. Did he? Used he? To run, yeah, yeah. He used to. What well, was that um, before Soccer AM? No, after Soccer AM. After AM, Soccer AM, uh, at, um, Fremantle. Oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And obviously, Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV, he had started doing these things. So they were the two big channels, you know, at the time. Yeah. There was probably one or two. Forgive me if I haven't remembered, but they were the two big ones that I remember before TFR, yep, right? Yeah. And um, and then, yeah, next thing you know, we would just go into all the big games. But we were funny because we were bantering players after the game. And we, we, we kept going viral every week because even if people didn't know who we were, the players just kept ask, getting asked crazy questions. We were creating scenarios, making them sign fake contracts. <laughs> we're going viral worldwide. Yeah. And then Neil Smythe at the time, people like that started noticing, noticing us, got us involved in TFR. Um, that was called the Football Republic. At yep. the, it yeah. was a really good channel. It had like loads of good people on there. I did some stuff for them as well back in yeah. the day. I have friends that. Really good, yeah. Them. And uh, literally, what else did we do? 
just loads of stuff. Ball Street, when you start oh, off, yeah. Ball Street always, you know, yeah. they're always there, Matt. Yeah. Uh, there was loads of these different people and we kept doing the cheeky sport thing and Sport Bible, we were like the first content creators yeah, on yeah. Sport Bible because before they used to just like share pages on Facebook, but they started sending us out, yeah. do this, do that. And we were just like presenters on steroids. Hmm. It was insane. So much energy, cheeky sport, Joel. You know what? That's Dave's what I remember. Like. It was the energy that you guys brought like, to the camera. Come on, like Dave, you know, yeah. like just <laughs> overpowering the mic yeah. and and Akeem, of course. And then Jermaine came along when we did our podcast. And then we started like working with brands and meeting brands. They were really afraid of us in the beginning because they don't know which way it's going to go. They right? don't know because yeah. on camera you see us shouting, screaming, yeah. and we were wild. But then when they would speak to us, it's like, oh, actually, I work for AstraZeneca. And then Dave was a pilot. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, he's yeah, a pilot. He's a pilot. Wow. For, yeah, he's, he's a good, interesting to get on. Like, he's big yeah. in this boxing scene at the moment. He's definitely one to talk to. He goes, he was uh, yeah, pilot for BA. Uh, Akeem sold peanut butter. Uh, <laughs> that is so <laughs> random. What a random No, collection. he created his, he created his own peanut butter company wow. and he sells he would sell at holland and barrett's um as there's oh um must be a relatively healthy one to be in holland and barrett then. yeah like no, it was it was organic yeah, he was yeah. one of the first organic peanut butter creators that is in the so country. Random. i might even be using it without even realizing yeah, it. Like, you never know but then i think now he's white label i'm not sure it was called the wild peanut but i think now he just like sells him and then mm. companies yeah put their own brands in. yeah but yeah so then that's how we used to get chances because people would have us in in a meeting and then we'll be like, well, actually, this is what we do. And they go, oh, maybe you lot are, just, <laughs> yeah. maybe you lot, maybe you lot are kind of smart, baby. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? The real we brains like, behind the personas. Yeah, we were like, because yeah. even if players weren't in the show, oh, they were in the show. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. had scenarios for whether someone ignores you, whether someone speaks yeah. to you. We were, you know. And then as the, the brand the time went, big shout out to people like Nike. They started having us host and clubs mm. such as Arsenal, even United at times, they'll be like, you see that funny stuff that you're doing outside? Do you guys want to do yeah. it inside the ground? And the next thing you know, you become a trained presenter. Yeah. I mean, thank you. training good. on the job, isn't it? Yeah, literally, you know. Um, and then just building good relationships. We were really, really keen on building good relationships and, and stuff like that. Not to give the, the, the sob story like some form of previous gangster life, but I'm 34 years old. I've seen a lot of rubbish. I've grown up around enough of it. Yeah. And when I first came in the industry, I was so ash like I didn't want anyone to know anything about my past because we've worked so hard to get out of it. And obviously now I've got a little one. I've got a six year old. And even when I knew you, I had a little one. Yeah, yeah. So um, it, it I was almost very when you would see me being nice, I never wanted to ruffle any feathers because yeah. I was in this new industry. And I just wanted to stay there. Yeah. Because when you're in the music industry, you've got to be rougher and it's tougher mm. and it's everything it's, that you can imagine. Yeah. I even spoke different, bro, if I'm honest with you. Really? Yeah. You you you, you speak like your environment. That's very true. Do you get what I'm coming yeah, from? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then it comes out as well when you're around certain people. Like I used to think, when I was younger, I used to think, why is it that my, my Caribbean friends always start speaking Patois when they're around each other? And I understand now. Like <laughs> When is. I'm around my friends, it's like South London comes out. Like, you get me, bruv? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. But it's, yeah, so, and then as the years went on, went from being a, con a presenter to, th th you grow with the industry. So you've got friends who started with you and now they're in positions and you're in positions. Yeah. So I started doing project management. So for example, working with whoever brands, whether it be Nike, whether it be whoever, whoever. Uh, and we'll be like, look, we can get you content creators or we'll produce the stuff or we'll use our network. And then, you know, you just develop. Now at five, I'm helping them with content, of course, but strategizing as well. Um, and yeah, doing behind the scenes stuff alongside Rio and just seeing how far we can take it really. So obviously now, now obviously you are working with Rio. You've met, been fortunate enough to meet so many amazing people. What was it like, like at the beginning going into these spaces and say meeting these footballers that even you're not used to it but what was it like working with these guys um i think when we started content creators weren't really respected you know if i'm honest with you it was kind of like pff, hey YouTubers. man yeah. youtubers <laughs> oh, them guys yeah. what do they know you know but i think as the years have gone we we feel like we're allowed to be in the same room as them yeah you know um but that's why i do respect certain people because from day one we just we just wanted to be liked. 
because we felt like, oh man, is, we're happy to be here. We yeah. just wanted to be liked. So being around s some of these footballers, it used to be nervous people. Like I used to walk in there thinking, are they going to like us? Yes or no? Because we want to stay in this game as long as possible. And obviously some people don't want to meet your heroes because they're flipping nasty. But there was a lot of people, a few people, not a lot, a few people that were like really nice. And I think Rio from when, when I met him, properly i met him in 2016 and he was cool because we was at the euros we all went out mm. with ben haynes you guys know ben haynes i've heard uh, the name from I've... 90 min yeah i've heard so we, we oh, went... yeah, I've worked with him yeah. Yeah, yeah so we went out there with him and me dave ben the keen whatever and he was really good um during some tournaments and stuff but then again when we would meet him he'll be like look we've got ideas and he would actually listen to the ideas give you the time give you the time because there's one thing meeting someone on a shoot which they're not they don't have to talk to you afterwards. Yeah, they don't yeah. even have to talk to you during the shoot. But <laughs> the fact that you can go, look, we've got these ideas that we want to develop and blah, 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 blah. It took a while, you know, but I kept the relationship with Chris at uh, New Era Global, all these fantastic people over there. And uh, when the time was right during lockdown, it's just like the stars aligned. Mm. And it was just like, look, Rio wants to do five and he thinks that, you know, you could help. So you were there it. for the inception of that company then? Well, no, funny enough, Five actually started like 10 years ago. Really? He was ahead of the curve, Rio. Like when you, you ain't gonna do this, but I'll tell you. <laughs> like if you go back into the archives, yeah. <laughs> he was interviewed 50 Cent, Drake, Nicki Minaj. Wow. Um, he's got Ronaldo free stars that are on like 20 million views. Like- Is it on the channel? Robinho on the channel, bro. He was so ahead of the curve, yeah. Like, it's almost like, you know when he did the boxing thing? Yeah. And yeah. they told him to not do it. Yeah. And now everyone's like, yeah, yeah. it's the same thing. Yeah. Literally, like he had started it when YouTube was fresh. Shit. And he was like one of the first people doing videos with KSI. And like when KSI was doing stuff yeah, in yeah, his yeah. house yeah. with his mum and dad. I remember the sunglasses and stuff. Right? That long ago. Yeah. And then it just kind of like, he just stopped using it. Only for like commercial reasons or whatever. Mm. But we've rebuilt that now. And um, now we're doing good projects with EA. You know, team yeah, of the year. Yeah, we'll get on to that eventually. Soon. And uh, yeah, literally just building it to, to be the best thing it can be, really. Like. So how, how did he how did he pop the question? How did he ask you to get involved? So it's just a five minute conversation where he's like, oh, I'm it really is, looking for someone to- Okay, I've never told this story before. Right? That, is, is that is podcast gold. Uh, yeah, and the funny <laughs> thing is when they see this, they're going to be like, right, I'm a real intentional guy. So, and shout out to his agent as well, Chris, because one day I, I think I needed a haircut. I went to go see Troy Dini or something like that. <laughs> I did an event or whatever. And I just, my hair was all over the place. I didn't have time to get a trim. And then Troy was brushing my hair before I went Turkey. You know? So uh. it was like me and Theo, I was asking Theo questions like, yo, Theo, like, how was like, how was like- Theo's so big time, he, he just stayed in London for it. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I flew, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I went, I went, I, I can't lie. A lot of my friends have gone out there recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, but I went for a reason. I wouldn't have gone if it wasn't secure. Mm. I would have done what you did. But anyway, basically He's I went to- good as well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I went to go see Troy Dini, yeah? And my hair was just mash up, like just- just it was crazy guys and then um i must have posted it because you got to learn how to laugh at yourself innit? Yeah, yeah and then yeah. I, I put it on my ig i was like guys anyone know where i can get a trim like this is not looking good and people actually started advising me their barbers <laughs> i was just like okay i was only bannering but yeah, like, yeah. a bar bar was like person for yeah, like people like... Adding, you know these barbers these days you got like ig accounts yeah, they like, do. they were just like, adding this person everyone's like come to mine bro come to mine we'll give you a free trim and then chris um, Rio's guy hits me up. He goes, "Go see this guy," and I thought, "Ah, oh, at the guy. He was he was really forthcoming. He's just like, you can come get one for free." I looked at him. It was like a thirty-five minute drive away. I'm like, thirty-five minutes. He said, "Come at seven thirty, bro. I'll cut your hair for free." PM. I thought AM. AM. Oh my god. Seven thirty. <laughs> I just thought, but, he's, the school but run. he's Rio's barber. He's cut Cristiano Ronaldo's hair. He was cutting Patrice Evra, and I said, "You know what?" Just go. Yeah, yeah. You never know. Yeah. yeah. Just see it as a seven thirty meeting. Yeah. So then I just went there and then me and the guy just hit it off proper. Like he's actually my barber now. Like <laughs> yeah, Sinu. <Sinhal>, like <laughs> my, but he's he's Turkish, right? And he's so sick, like he's got everything under control, sick shops. And he's the one I started talking to him about wanting to do my hair. Yeah. And then he goes, Yeah, just go Turkey. And he hooked it up for me, private hospital, all good. Wow. Really good stuff. Really? Like that's why I trusted him. Uh, but anyway, I would then start seeing Rio at the barbershop. <laughs> Waiting after you in the queue. <laughs> you know what I mean? Needed a haircut. What day is Rio going to yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, Cool. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So 
and then you just start bumping into people yeah, yeah. like naturally and the more you bump into someone the guard just goes down yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. then one day we were discussing a very similar show to what we were doing and then i was just like this is it i went away i broke the pitch sent to him he just ignored me he, like, <laughs> he didn't, he didn't. <laughs> I was like, man, I thought I, I made progress here. Like, yeah, what's yeah. going on? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, because there's one thing working with players, but I knew that he had the platform and the vision to want to do more. Yeah. So I think this was like, it probably, when was Corona? It's 2020, innit? Start of 2020, 2020, yeah. COVID-19. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. 19. Well, yeah, it started, it started well, in no, November, but, yeah. December, but lo from, lockdown was March. Yeah. It's okay. crazy that we're in 22 and it's yeah, 2019, yeah. right? Okay, so this thing is like beginning of 19, 2019. Anyway, cut story short, I just started going there and seeing him more. So even though we had seen each other at shoots, it was actually the barber shop that was the, the bonding, the bonding yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. slash attempt to, hey, oh, what's going on? And then what happened? And it was just a genuine relationship as well. So then when I was like, we talk about in Dubai, there was, he called me out when I was there, I want you to do this. And I would always do it and advise where yeah. I could. So then when lockdown came, they were like, look, we want to, revamp the channel i guess he had more time yeah of course you know I mean? naturally yeah naturally and then my whole thing was i know what people like that are they've played for united in england and they they can have a real cutthroat mentality yeah. when they want so it's just like i was just like look get house and you know house like marmite you know people either <laughs> yeah. like him or they don't yeah but one thing about house is his setup is really good like he comes from that school of neil smythe true geordie um yeah uh, what's his name? Statman Dave. Yeah. They're very organized. Yeah. Very, very organized. Does everything right. It's just literally yeah. like a whole bunch of stuff. Anyway, I was just like, you want to use him because he's got good resource and he's got a really good audience and he's, I get on with him. Yeah. A lot of people don't, but I do. Um, and then they just took my advice and we just started doing this thing. It was rubbish at first, but as the weeks go, it gets better and better and Zoom is acceptable. And then, yeah, yeah, of course. And then, do you know what I mean? And then literally we birthed it, Vibe with Five. You've got to watch it, guys. It's, it's really one of the best shows online. After you watch after you watch, There Pit will be Side, links to it, don't worry. After you watch Pit Side, you've got to go watch that. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. So, and literally it, it was just growing up, growing up. And then we had really interesting interviews like Ravel Morrison and Thierry Henry, Rue Van Nistelrooy. People that weren't, don't really speak to a lot of people. And then when the Euros came, we just took it to another level, yeah. built a studio in Manchester carried it on and now we're just carrying on so would you say that your uh relationship with rio concerning five is more collaborative now or does he decide what to do and then you just it's it's so, let me let me tell you what the the sickest thing about him is and we were talking about this yesterday everybody's idea is is, is as important as everybody else's that's really it cool. sounds like yeah whatever mate you're just saying it because you would watch no i promise you yeah like because you got to remember, there's a lot of stuff that he doesn't know or he didn't know yeah, about yeah. YouTube. He's also learning in the space. He's at the learning. Same time, so we he? were like, nah, you got to do this. No, no, what you got to do is this. No, no, you got to make sure that this looks like this. Yeah. And da 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 da. So him and the team, they're receiving, receiving, trusting. And the thing is, because they know what, you know, we're like, even you guys, we work with a lot of companies. We know a lot of kids watch us. Mm. We got a lot of presenting gigs. We're not trying to put out bad energy out there or things that yeah, yeah, make yeah. him I, look bad or yeah. make us look bad. We've got, yeah. you know, and so he knows that it was all coming from a good place, him and his team. Yeah. And literally as the months were going, the subscribers were just growing, mm. growing, growing, growing. Yeah. And since last year, I think we're 200 subscribers up. I mean, it had 600,000 subscribers before. Now yeah. it's on 800. Yeah. But like I said, he just stopped using it. Mm you know, but yeah. now it's rebuilding and it's gaining traction. I really love like the likes of like Rio and other guys in the space who are, they come from the, that footballing background. They don't really know about mm. YouTube. They're learning on it. It's the same as Robbie Savage. He's learned all about it himself. Yeah. But like now just seeing Rio in the back of his car vlogging. It's mad, isn't it? I think it's so sick that they, they've given, they've actually given YouTube like the respect that it sort of deserves and they're getting involved in it. Oh, Gary Neville. Yeah, you know, people, literally, his I, overla I, yeah. overlap is unbelievable, overlap. Sick, isn't it? it? Unbelievable. So good. We've had meetings with him. It's so funny. We've had meetings with him, and you sit down and and you know we're going back and forth and we're discussing and be like, yeah, Josh Denzel can do this and you guys can do <laughs> that and and it's always like, wow, like we're just kids who used to watch football. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? I'm not saying we're not experts because we do know what we're doing and yeah. talking about. 
you know, but we are kids that just used to watch football and now we know the space and I like working with good people because there's always a good intention. Yeah. I'm never going to be late. Gamble's early, guys. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's was. all about being professional and showing people that we deserve to be here. Yeah. Obviously, you, 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 with Five, you've obviously int um, interviewed quite a few people, but one I want to touch on is Ravel Morrison. Yeah. What What was your opinions on him after obviously speaking to him? Because obviously he had, he was that guy, Was like he was like, he is the talent. He is. But his head is the one that let him down. That's yeah. what it is, talent versus attitude, right? That was exactly. always the... That was his problem, wasn't it? What, so what, what did you take away from that interview? I think I, what I understood is that the environment that you're in, and again, I talk about environment, the environment you're in can really dictate you. Absolutely and it can be does. really tough. It doesn't yeah. matter if you play for Man United, it doesn't matter if you're Joel, Blair, Joel Bayer from Crystal Palace, South London. Yeah. Your, your, the thing that helped me with the whole, like I said, the people around was when I went to uni. It really helped me, because then all of a sudden, instead of talking to people that are just from a two, five mile radius, mm. yeah, yeah. you're talking to people that are from, you know, the Isle of Wight, because I went to Portsmouth, come on Pompey. Ah. Isle of Wight, <laughs> you're talking- you uh, did you? I went to Bournemouth, yeah. Oh, okay, so I would go to Bournemouth occasionally. You know, you're talking to people from all the way up and down the country and it changes your mindset yeah. and you're doing projects and work with people who have a completely different background to you. And then you learn the good things about you, but you also learn the bad things about you that you got to get rid of. Yeah. You know, like black people, sometimes we can be a little bit aggressive, guys, a bit loud. But, ah, you know what I mean? But, I'm, like, but it's like you understand that sometimes different people from different places have different tones of speaking and different whatever. And... I'll be honest with you, it was just beautiful, you know? And I um, can't remember what the point was, but- uh, On Ravel. Yeah, Ravel. Like, yeah. So with Ravel, I can understand that when he was in Manchester, he was in this beautiful environment, Man United, yeah. disciplined. But when he went back home, he was still around certain people that maybe didn't have the mindset. Yeah. That's why sometimes it's good for players sometimes to move away from where they were, where they are, mm. go somewhere completely different and you can just focus. Well, you can take, for example, uh, Maitland Niles who's just gone on loan to Roma. Oh, that's going to be brilliant. For I, I really hope it is because I, I feel like he was in, he was caught in, obviously he did the story and mm. that didn't go very, I thought he was very stupid for doing that. I don't what, know. what did he do? He put up a story like, um, oh, I just want to be, go somewhere where I can play. Is yeah, that, it was that? something like that. And he deleted it after like an hour or two hours. Yeah. Arsenal obviously saw him and were like, well, yeah, what, what are you doing? You yeah, doing? Yeah. Um, but I, he, he's such a nice guy. And I feel like he was he was a little bit lost at Arsenal for quite a long time. I didn't know, he didn't know what his position was. Mm. He wasn't getting the minutes that yeah, he wanted. Yeah. So I feel like going to Roma, like Tammy Abraham's gone to Roma, has actually smashed it. Playing under Mourinho, mm -hmm. I feel like, that's a really, really, really good move for. Maybe I think a lot of, for a lot of them, it's a good move. Um, Ola Aina, he's a really, he used to play for Chelsea. Yeah. He was at Fulham last season. I know he likes London, he's family, right? they're fullback. Yeah. But I asked him once during lockdown, I said, bro, like, what is it like out there? He goes, man, the lifestyle's good. He's just, you know, like, you can tell that the only thing that they miss is probably family and friends. Mm. Yeah. Definitely family. Yeah. But, you know, in terms of who he, you are, you grow up when you go to these kind of places. Yeah. I've lived in Portsmouth. I came back. I lived in Uxbridge. I, I, I lived in Luton when I was at AZ. And it's kind of like you you change your environment. You get new ideas, you you know. Yeah. Whereas sometimes if you're stuck, and it doesn't necessarily have to be like a deprived area. Look at, like you said, Maitland Lyle, sometimes you can be mm. in one area for too long. Mm. You need to change your mindset, yeah. see different angles. And I guess that's what Ravel didn't really have. And I think... We all think that we've got all the time in the world, but I'm looking at you, Reeve, and I'm thinking, bro, when I met you, you were like the youngest YouTuber, <laughs> you and Cal Freezy. Yeah. Thanks for that, appreciate yeah. that. Theo, I met Theo when he was still at uni, deciding whether he wanted to quit and go full time or yeah, not. Yeah. And now you're the seniors in this thing. Yeah. You are. Oh no, but yeah, I definitely feel it's like mad, that. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. That, 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 yeah, that's really just hit me hard, that. Yeah, you're the senior. When I look at you, I don't look at you as, I remember you, yeah, yeah, yeah. like where you were, but you are a lead guy in this thing. So I felt like, especially with YouTube, it's all about just, I remember a few years ago, I was like, where am I going with this? Like oh, what, I was, you know, we'd get caught in a bit of a crossroads. Bro, yeah. we've all been and then there. you sort of just, you just end up figuring it out. Have you been there? The crossroads. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm I'm pretty much at it. I think you're at it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, this is gonna be an important year. Then that's what I mean. This this pod is. But yeah. I feel like over the last year for me, especially over lockdown, I found mm. I sort of found a new direction and where I'm going. I'm quite excited, especially for this year. Got a lot of things. Like obviously, this is one Sick. of them. So yeah, I feel like I've come over that little hurdle. Yeah. And I'm ready for like the next chapter, so to speak. Oh, that's sick, man. Lockdown was sick for me personally. Really? In the, yeah. Not in the. I know there was a lot of personal things. Even I went through personal things. Um, I had to go court for to fight for my child because oh. I wasn't seeing my child during lockdown. Yeah. It was killing me. So I had to unfortunately do that. Um, That's tough. And the reason why I share it is because normally you hear fathers not really talk about the love of their children. And I'm not here to put down the mom or whatever, but we just wasn't getting along and yeah. seeing the child and, and I had to fight and I'm glad I did. And you don't really hear a lot of that. Friend um, of going through the same thing. Yeah, oh man, it's, yeah. it's not spoken about, but you know, it's tough and I, it's reality. Yeah, yeah, but now I've got like even more days with my child than I did beforehand. So I'm the happiest that I've ever been yeah. like ever. Like, love you Zara. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it it was tough and I, I, re I put my energy into content mm. and I was watching people, especially on IG and YouTube. I was like, I am not going to be doing kickups with socks. For oh, this toilet whole roll. Toilet oh, roll. I'm that not. Was the yeah, I was just roll. like toilet roll socks. I think I did it five k runs once oh, for Coca Cola, and it, <laughs> yeah, you got my, but yeah. it was like household football challenge. I'm like, yeah. yeah, I'm like, if it's not, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. that was the. I'm like, I'm not doing it anymore. Um, but what I then did, I would, I just switched my content, man, because I was, because I think a lot of people were sitting there going. We're just gonna ride out this wave, or they don't know what's going on. And yeah. we're, I'm like, no, it takes time to grow. Just what? Just yeah. But I think that's what the beauty of lockdown was. It was, uh, it was another one in reference to you know, like the Maitland Niles story, Ravel Morrison, is that mm. you have less distractions, so you have to, well, you have the opportunity to focus on yourself a little bit more because oh, the outside world doesn't See, cave in. There's even sm for me personally during lockdown, it was, just, it was the smallest thing of I was doing less driving. Like normally yeah. I'm driving yeah. up and down all the time yeah. and I just, I just found like every day I did so much time to just do stuff. Stuff. Yeah. And like, I was like, oh my God, like this is, this is mental. And I got quite a lot done. The pace was slower, innit? The, day, yeah. the pace of the day was slower. I mean, yeah. I had different parts because obviously when there'll be projects coming in, it was still longer, but I, that people started putting on weight, let's be honest with you. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, but. Unless you were running. Yeah, if you had timed your day running. right, yeah. like Reeve, like <laughs> you're able to get up and, you know, do some stuff. And I, I think I did a lot of like press ups and sit ups and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Obviously, guys, it's gone now. But yeah, yeah, I did during the time and it was good. It was I good. loved it. Yeah. Well, so obviously, um, you've been doing this presenting thing quite a bit of time now. Mm -hmm. What would you say your highlight has been for you what what stands out for you over the last few years like what's the most memorable thing oh, do you know what there's just so much you know mm. the thing that's coming and this will probably be different every time on a, i'm on a show but i remember in i think fifa 2017 me and david hosted the fifa launch <laughs> um bro the fifa launch like, and at the Was time with royce with who with royce Did you do no. with royce no 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 no, no. we did it with um Spencer Rashford, we were we, well. We were doing it for Sport Bible, and oh, they were streaming it for okay, Sport Bible. Okay. It was at West Ham Stadium. Do you remember that year? I don't. It was at, I don't want to say I do, but it was at the Olympic Stadium. Yeah, yeah. it was sick, man. Really? Like I like obviously I'm gonna like that one the most in it because we host, but like just things had just changed. Yeah, I'd gone from being a part time YouTuber because I was working to then doing it full time and hosting the game that mm. I grew up on. I mean, yeah. we get, thankfully we get to work with them all the time now, but that was really like, yeah, I'm Stand a YouTuber. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm you do get YouTuber. moments of realization when you're like yeah. either hosting an event or, you know, present in something like the Wembley Cup and yeah. like, you just have We're to take it in. You yeah, have to you be have present to. because it's like, you don't get, the opportunity yeah. like that to reflect yeah. so you just have to do it in the moment it's crazy but. Take, take the Wembley Cup is it coming back like do you know what I mean like because that is Spencer confirmed that there potentially isn't going to be didn't he isn't or, or is isn't I don't think it'll be coming back no. personally Why? I think that I don't think it'll be as the Wembley Cup I, I definitely think this summer you'll see a few charity match type things um, I, I think I think it was just the Wembley Cup was such a 
big thing to organise that they just over to, especially with what Hashtag have going on now. I don't think they have time to personally organise the Wembley Cup. But I think this summer, especially post lockdown and post COVID, we'll be seeing a few chatting. I would like to think, because I think it'll be good for the Mate, people, the viewers. Listen, those kids, it's like when you see a Spice Girls concerts so, or, you know, the, the, yeah. the two thousand millennium concerts. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I enjoy it. Like, yeah. can, can you imagine you're actually part of that? You yeah. too? Well, that, but that's, the, that. that's the, the, the new age of what people want to be when they're growing yeah. up is no longer a pop star, yeah, it's a YouTuber, YouTuber, right? That's like, it's crazy. It's so mad. And and there's other parts you said, what are my favorite parts? I'll never forget when we, um, when we did a few things like with the England team, when we sent them off to Euro 2016. Wow. We did this with Nike and we had like Wayne Rooney, Sterling, uh, all of the boys, Vardy, like everyone came on the coach and we were taking the players to areas and surprising them. Yeah. So kids will come out and next thing you know, you're on a coach with Wayne Rooney. Like, or coach with, like, you yeah, know. Imagine just, that. Yeah, yeah. Just well, for you, stuff. anyway. Yeah, yeah, just mad stuff. Like, and then, and then they shut down the whole of Oxford Street for us to come out with the players. They changed the traffic lights and then the England squad just came out of the coaches and we all just went into um, the Nike store in Oxford Street. Do you, do you realise how cool that is in the moment or was it only like it's, looking back it's hard to, i feel like it's hard to realize it in the moment yeah isn't because it? Yeah. we were doing this and the mu and the music acts were aj tracy and santan dave <laughs> so from you, a different life yeah you know? so you look and you go no literally we were all like and then you sit there and i don't know if you that know. was young rapper joel bay's yeah well to be really honest with you it's not like they were, it, it was AJ Tracy or Dave of today even. Oh yeah, true. To be honest, they yeah. were very talented and sick, but it's not yeah. them now. See your point. So it's like, it was just a sick event. And I think obviously now the stuff that I'm doing with Five, the Euros was amazing. Mm. If I've got one complaint, and I've already said it, is that I wish I was at the games more because I was in studio base, but I had agreed to do it. It was my choice. Mm. But I just I was just like, listen, man, next one we're doing, yeah. I'm going Qatar, yeah. mate. Like, I'm going. Like I'm going to be in Qatar. Are oh, you gonna be? be? You reckon? Yeah. Yeah. What, mate? You no one's gonna stop me. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. Honestly. But um We're gonna win. Yeah, but for me it's five is giving me a chance to you see you said you were at a crossroads, hmm. reinvent myself yeah. Yeah. as well. You know. So what 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 does the future hold for five then, do you think? Where where's your where's your personal vision for it going? The house of football, that's the most important thing for me. The house of football, um, we really want to try to... Which, get, is, which is what to explain to viewers? Uh, the house of football for, for me is to be able to see players in a different light. Like off camera, I spoke to the both of you. You go, oh, what did you do today? We're working with Kieran Richardson, uh, potentially poet. USA. On You know, he collects jewellery. You know, I say collects jewelry. He's a he's a watch. He's he's luxury watches. He deals with it, and I think that's really interesting to see what these guys are doing mm. now. You know, we got a strand called Where Are They Now? You know, that's cool. what are these guys doing? We're gonna be traveling all across the world. I want to know what Freddie Adu's doing because you were the guy in championship. Mendy is a good one. Mendy, yeah. he works for La Liga. I did something with him Does a couple he? years ago. Yeah, he's an ambassador. No, because I already as well. He was um, he went through a few years of like DJing. Oh, is it? He would like uh, go to like uh, be for a Mallorca and he's just a DJ at no, club. No, 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 I heard that as well. <laughs> yeah. No, no, yeah. I heard like that you're as rocking well. up, it's just Mendieta doing That's the what DJ. I'm saying. Yeah. And Jolien Lescott, he's a DJ as well. Is he? A part time DJ, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that about him. He's it, sick dude. because he studies at uni, yeah. He does punditry, he works for England, and he DJs. Has well, you got time for He's, like, he's a part time but student. I, I, honestly, like, I have no idea. He's really clever. That is mental. Yeah. That is ridiculous. So there's these players that do, and the funny thing is, that's like our players here. There's players worldwide that we need to tap into. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. A day in the life of Perlo. Do you know what I mean? I met Perlo once. Yeah. So I was um, in New York when we were playing for oh, New York sick. City, and um, I just went to you know the uh, the driving range, the golf driving range near yeah. Chelsea Pier, and I was with hashtag funnily enough. Yeah. I walk in there. We're like setting up, we're getting all our clubs. And I look out just to see who's, you know, who's yeah. that. I go, that, that's Perlo. What? I was like, that that right here is Perlo with a hat on. 
And uh, I might have even told, have I told this one? I'm not really sure. I have, have. yeah. You have. Yeah. yeah. And I was, <laughs> mate, I started shitting it. I was bricking it. Yeah. I've never, ever been that nervous. Did he look as stylish as he does oh, in mate, the videos? He, he looked 10 out of 10. Bloody he had like, he had like a... He managed me at the Metropolitan. No way. Yeah. You said that all coy. At the what? He uh, was my manager once. After, after the Champions League final, the day after we pl- we had a game on the pitch. Oh, really? I was meant to play our, in that. He was our captain. Basically. Well, like what? The Champions League just gone or the year before? Day before. It was lit- oh, no, no, it was, no, no, it was uh, Spurs. Madrid. Yeah, Madrid. So Spurs, Spurs, Spurs balls that up. Oh, yeah. that one. When it, when, yeah. it was, when it was decided in about 90 seconds because they yeah. won a penalty, and we were like, oh, game's done. Yeah, that, was, that was an interesting weekend for me, that one. Yeah. But yeah. Sick. Uh, Who else played? Uh, Yaya Torre. Was he still good? Unbelievable. Wasn't he still yeah. playing was, at the time as well? He, he might retired. have been, but it was like, yeah. it was playing. It's like a man against kids. Is it? Like is it? Is it? Well, it? Is it? Like flicking me below. Is it? But he, he also said that it was the hottest game he'd ever played in. It was like 34 degrees. Wow. It was borderline too hot to, to play. But yeah, we had like drinks breaks every 15 minutes. I don't know if I've said this already on this, but okay, there we go. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's Mate, I, was, I, was to, I was meant yeah. to play in that match, but I couldn't because I, I'd hurt my back. Yeah. And really? then it was a shock I missed that something because I was injured. Yeah. Who else played? Uh, was Luis nice. Garcia and Morientes. Oh, that was good. Is Morientes like, was he, he was sharp in front of goal when we were younger. Was oh he? yeah, no, he, st- he still definitely had it like yeah. shooting wise. But yeah, just, he didn't got, move. got older, his legs are a bit creaky, yeah. you know, that sort of I, I, I had an argument, sorry, I've got to throw my one in. Um, I had an argument with um, Deco when <laughs> really? I played him. Like, yeah, cause he's Rafinha's agent, did you know Yeah, that? he's an agent, yeah. You're joking. Yeah. yeah. I was so that's, that's another one for the, where are they now? I was, I was yeah, <laughs> I didn't know that, that's a good one. I was so pissed off with him, you have no idea. Because we were like battering this team. Me and Ben Haynes are like doing what we're doing and we're playing against some of these. Lo- it was one of those games, yeah. the day after a final. Yeah. All the way in Baku. And oh, then, oh, was it after then, the Arsenal? Yeah, Chelsea. Arsenal Chelsea. I was meant to be there. Battered. I'm so no, gutted. What, yeah. what the heck are you doing? Um, you say no to a lot no, of these yeah. events. No, I, I had to say no because I went to Australia. Liverpool Spurs. Oh, did was you? That, it was a few days later yeah, in it and the, getting back was a madness. Fli- yeah, the flights were a bit all over the place. I, I remember. So I remember. Because Baku Madrid. was just like two planes and a train and, <laughs> yeah. and a horse. It was, <laughs> so I chose Madrid. <laughs> it, was, it was so far to get beat, you have no idea. Yeah. But it was sick. It was proper sick. Yeah. So then, yeah, he's playing in midfield and he's just like not passing the ball, not moving, <laughs> not running. And then after a while, yeah, I just had enough in it because it was hot as well. Like we said, it was really hot. Was it a, was it an Arsenal Chelsea pro event or just it, he just so happened Must to be? No, 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 no. It was a, it was a pro event. There was like a few people around. There was no, a, but I mean, he's obviously an ex Chelsea player. It wasn't an Arsenal ex player. I can't even Chelsea. remember. I think he's an he's an ambassador. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah okay. he's sorry, an ambassador. Sorry. So they they had a few. Um, oh, they were, I can't remember. Yeah. Who. Sorry, guys. I want to name drop, but I can't. <laughs> uh, but they had a few guys there, and he was just. Just not passing. At one point, didn't speak English either, if I'm honest with you. Did he not? Nah. Oh, okay. I was just like, go, go there and get the ball in. Yeah. I just couldn't believe it, you know, because do you remember, do you know David the host? Yeah. Who used yeah, to yeah, work yeah. for 4 3 From Amsterdam. He's really good. He's yeah. just left Ajax now. Has he's, he? Yeah, he's got, he's got a really good job that he's going to. I'm not allowed to say, but Ooh. he's doing really well. <laughs> yeah, 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 proper good guy. And he was just running through us. Like, because he, he's really yeah, yeah, good, he's isn't it? Brilliant. Like, and Deco was just not even just letting him skip past. I just couldn't take it. And then, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that was that was the time I was upset with Deco. That's actually, yeah. you know what? That's the one thing that would really annoy me because for a lot of people who get to play in these games, yeah. it's like a once in a lifetime thing for a lot yeah. of people. Yeah. And when the pros can't be asked or they're not, yeah, he, 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 he could have passed. Like, but like that's why I respect so much when the players in these games are. You know they're going for it. They're trying hard. They they want to make your experience as yeah. good. As as that's for, why for that's, the whole that's why S C N at Wembley Cup was like one of the most enjoyable players to play with because he wanted to win. Was he was he proper like? He, bro, he was so good. Is he it? was just Is pure. It? Yeah, but not even not even like an overwhelmingly good. He was yeah. he was that good yeah. that he could just let other people enjoy their experience. Really? So he'd like, Do he'd win the ball back and then, pass and then it knock you. it to someone You're else. You're joking. Yeah, no, even good. though he could have like, yeah, yeah, even though you know like, he could just yeah. go 45 yards and score a scream if he wow. wanted. Wow. Well, I remember in, in, was it, who had Cafu? Was it uh, True Geordie's team? XO. And I remember, I remember yeah. seeing like Cafu just he just flicked it over someone's head like a couple times and he was just like toying Rio with him. said he could still play today i think he and no, he said that to it, me yesterday and he's like 50. Really? yeah no he said he yeah. is so fit he said carlos is done 
He goes, he goes, he played with, he said he played with Carlos. He spoke like 50 fags a day. Really good guy. Oh, go whatever. But he goes, Cafu, he said, could play today. I'd, uh, Seedorf as well. He's like, oh, that, mate, have you seen his abs? Mate, oh, he's mate, an animal. Oh, he's a, no, he's mate, he put his Edith's no, Instagram he, stan account for Seedorf. Seedorf, <laughs> Seedorf's Instagram, which is his quads and bro, his abs. He's bro, a, he's a machine. It's insane. I had a, yeah. um, I was like, we, me and Seb were on the bet. You know Seb? Yeah, 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 yeah. We were on the way back from... A um, golf trip. <laughs> no, it wasn't yeah, a golf yeah. trip, but it was close. <laughs> I think it was on the way back from Monaco for yeah. the Laureus Sports Awards. Okay. And, uh, oh, I remember that. Did, did Dave host something like that? Or, uh, he that might year? have done. Because I remember year, that, yeah. yeah they're pretty, they're pretty cool been, events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, uh, Seb was really nice. He's got this like thing to access the lounges at the airport. He, you know, he treated me. Yeah. And we walk in, it's just Cafu, just sitting, uh, sitting down. And we had randomly shared a taxi ride with Cafu's agent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Seb was like, ah, oh, and yeah, went straight yeah, over to yeah. them. Yeah. And we, for about an hour, just chatting to chatting. Cafu and his agent. Yeah. And he spoke decent English, to be fair. You're joking. Yeah, but he was getting a flight back to Brazil to see his family. Oh, wow. From Monaco, I guess. But oh, I, wow. it was one of, the, you know, has, it's one of their moments. <laughs> You'd when think, I was like, anyway, if he's in Monaco. <laughs> well, he might, I think it was fine to, he had to go to London and then oh, to okay. Brazil. Okay. But it was one of their moments. I was like, oh. I'm yeah, literally sitting Cafu, across yeah. like a three-time World Cup winner. winner. Yeah. Probably the best right back ever. Yeah. Did you, before I forget, did you play with Steven Gerrard in one of these Wembley Cups? I played I a did. few you times. Played against, what, right? was he, what is he like? The best player I've ever played against. You're always. joking. But yeah, just yeah, so yeah. clear. Just so there's, no, there's no point in me asking. Pros will tell you the same, but no, I want to know he, it from people who are like so humans clear. like he's me. He's so clear. He's so is clear it? of anything. And is he, he he's retired. He could play. He could, when he played with us, he yeah. could play. You probably like, just retired a couple year, a year or so literally, after, isn't it? We, I played against him twice. In the Wembley Cup, he just ran the show. Is it? He ran the show. And then we did a five-a-side thing in Cardiff before a Champions League final once. Ridiculous, yeah. And uh, we we won. It was like hashtag versus like a BT five or so. I said David J yeah. David James in goal yeah. and a few like Howard Webb. Yeah. And um, we won like a twelve ten. Or well, Howard Webb was playing or refing. He was playing. And Howard He's was playing. the best, you know. He's yeah. got the best. I've got Howard <laughs> Webb stories all day long. So really? random. So random. Howard Webb, Howard Webb, the referee. You are the man. But go on, <laughs> we need carry to hear on. something to say. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you in a second. But um, we won like uh, twelve ten, and Gerald scored nine. Oh, is it? Yeah, he scored from the halfway line. 12 10 and Gerard's. <laughs> He's got, you know, uh, Jacko, hashtag Jacko, he, he was in goal yeah, and he, yeah, yeah. Gerard's uh, put it top bins from halfway line. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> like, oh, well, man, like ping he, pong shots, like just. just <laughs> mate, he's just a different. He's just different. And he, and he runs it as well. He, go, he, he doesn't like lose him. Yeah. Like he'll. he'll even he'll, even though it's a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a safe, I think it's something to do with the Liverpool, Liverpoolians. Like Carragher's exactly the same. Was he? he <laughs> mate, oh my God. <laughs> he, oh my God, mate. Was he good though? Oh, he, he was contracted to play 45 minutes in the Wembley Cup. He was like, I'm not coming off playing 90. <laughs> and then the, during the entire, there's a, the, obviously there's a clip of me, him elbowing me in the neck, um, like going to start up on Joe. But like, I've told, I think I've said this before many times, but like during the game, he was just calling us everything. Is it? Like C-bombs, F-bombs. Was you on the same team? No, we played against him. Oh, wow. I was up front against Jamie Carragher. He's mad, isn't it? He's a little bit mad, isn't it? He, uh, oh, because he started doing that to me, I sort of really respected it. Why? Because I was giving it back as well. Yeah, you have to. So you have to. But I respected that he was taking it seriously. It wasn't like some jokey, like, piss take thing. Like, I really, because I like a challenge. Yeah. I really, really enjoyed it. And I was, like, trying to shoulder barge him. Yeah. And, like, oh, he's, a bit of a, he's a bit of a unit, to be fair. Is he? Yeah. He's a big, he's a built guy. But, wow. um, but yeah, now, now every time I see him, it's just all right. Yeah, it's, it's all good now. Yeah, it's all good, yeah. But from Man, he, no, you see, this tweet. is why you want to be YouTubers. We sit here and we share stories about pros that we played with and the people we like or we don't like but it's can you do you see what i mean boys it's such a blessing to do what we do mm, yeah and to have been in it as long as we have been do you know what i mean yeah. like when i look, I look oh, back fondly on these times yeah I, and that's why i generally look at people and i and i respect them when they're in a game for a long time because i know how hard it is and from the outside everything looks shiny i remember even though I was doing just fine when I was doing the cheeky sports stuff, I had so much respect for what you were doing. You know, when you would, you know, like just the king when it comes to the game stuff, just really killing it. Yeah. And even when you started the fitness thing, I just thought, man, just, and yourself with the football, when I still go and I still yourself and I just think, mate, you're on another level. Thank you, so man. it's, it's, it's an absolute pleasure to see everyone. Even Cal, like I don't see Cal that much anymore, but I just know he's fine. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Obviously I hope he is fine, yeah. but I just know. He's and, doing great. And bloody the king of it all these days, SV2. 
Like, oh, he man is, just, mate, he, yeah. you know, tell you what, he, he really has done so well. Like, he was yeah, all, yeah, 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 you have to. Know, him and know. Sav, they're, they're yeah. running. And like, Sav and, is a fucking he's unit. He's unit now, isn't he? He's a hench, yeah. He always thought he was hench when we were yeah. playing. <laughs> now but he's, now he's actually that guy. And then you've got Jamie and his futsal just smashing it. And I honestly, man, Rebel was, I met some really good guys there, yeah, man. They were. And Rory, do you still chat to Rory? Yeah, I do still chat That's to Rory. He went to the Newcastle game. Is it? He's a Cambridge fan. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, must have, he must have been. I saw him yeah. like a couple months ago. I was just on the train at Stratford. And I look across the platform, it was just Rory standing there. Hello, mate. He knows, and we, I was like, you're right. He was like, you're right. Because he's like yeah. a little bit too far away to actually have a conversation. Yeah, nah, he's he, another nah. Joel Bayer as well, though. Like, that, yeah, okay. Rory knows everyone. He, does, oh, he knows it? everybody. Yeah, it's because, crazy. but he he was the boss at Dream Team at one point, innit? He was. Yeah, he, he was, he was the boss there. Him. That's how I met him. And then obviously he's that lad now, lad now killing it. Um, Rory's just the guy, man. Just the guy. Obviously, you were going to mention how a few Howard Web, Howard Webb stories. Have you got? It doesn't have to be Howard Webb. It can be any like what any funny encounters that you've had over the years that like you can. Because it's always quite hard, isn't it? I can to, like, only randomly... remember I, right now as we're talking. I can only remember Howard Webb. I mean, we were at, <laughs> we were at this event <laughs> with, with legends. It was like a Hublot event. And you had like Treza Gay, oh. and you had like I don't know if Del Piero's like I'm talking that kind of event. Yeah, yeah. I think Rio was there. Um, who else was there? Seedorf, Pele, and Maradona played against each other there. Wow. Probably one of the only times you ever see them on the pitch. Obviously, it was they were really snow but, when they, yeah, but yeah. they they played like together for like five ten minutes against each other. Oh, that's it so was, sick! It was so what an sick. honor to watch that. It eh? was like honestly. And I just couldn't believe it. I'm just there Snapchatting. <laughs> yeah. That's literally like one of a few few people in the world will ever get to see that. It's, I will send you guys a clip of it. Yeah, like please, please, I'm please. gonna message you guys and just send you random clips of that video. <laughs> but then what we decided to do, there was all these world superstars and we didn't know who to focus on. And bearing in mind, Cheeky Sport, we, our thing is bantering players, yeah. whether they like it or not. But we were like, too many superstars here. Who do we banter? Howard Webb, right? So every <laughs> time I'm like, oh, there's Trezeguet. Oh my gosh, Howard Webb. And the funny thing is, Howard, he's so sick because he'll, he'll see it and go, <laughs> and, and like, we've got a whole compilation video yeah. of when we met Howard Webb. And, and then at the end, he did the intro and the outro with us. Like, he's just- it Sounds guy. like a good guy. Yeah, like, he, he was proper, runner. proper. And like I said, when you're in this game, all those things mean a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, I just want to take it slightly uh, more serious, if that's all right. Wow. Just because obviously we're all... No, I mean, we, <laughs> wow. can, we, can, we can switch it up if you want. But obviously, oh, wow. there's, 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 like, uh, there's certain reasons we've got Joel on. And obviously, one of the talking points is uh, you are quite involved with the No More Red campaign. Yeah, well... With Arsenal. Yeah. I've seen you do some content Some bits. On your, yeah. Uh, I just want to um, ask how you think uh, that potential... Well, the campaign as a whole will impact knife crime and across uh, influence London. Basically, I thought it was. I thought it caught me by surprise. Yeah, I'm to be really honest with you. I was asked to to be a part of it via ITV, so it wasn't via Arsenal. I did mine via ITV because okay. they did their adverts with um, mm. Righty, Idris Elba, Idris, Idris Elba, Elba. Yeah, yeah. And, like, they were the like the, the, ma the main faces and the players. I came on via that end. And to be honest with you, it was weird because I was first asked a question. They were like, do you want to get involved in this? Um, they didn't say what it was first. They were like, do you really? think, yeah. It was kind of like, do you think football clubs are responsible for knife crime? And I just thought, that's a weird question. That is a weird question. Yeah, cause, and, and, um, and I was interacting with Antoine Speaker. Um, shout out to Antoine, lovely guy. And uh, my answer was like, no, I was thinking if a club does that, it's a it's a it's a bonus. But I don't. Re I for me, I think that kind of like yes, it's the community, but it's more from your home, your experiences. Mm. That was my initial answer. They were like, "Well, Arsenal are you know wearing the white kit. They're doing a campaign. They're going to wear the kit on the sun." And I was completely blown away. Yeah. No joke. I was just like. I can't believe a football club is using its platform to do such a positive thing. Yeah. And again, I've said it already on the show, like I have a little one and I've got a girl, but and but I know how, when I look at my little six year old, I sometimes think you just want them to be safe. Yeah. So to think that there's parents out there who are losing their 12 year olds or 15 year olds or whatever it is, 
due to knife crime, and we all know when we see it is senseless killing, yeah. to use your platform to do that, to not sell the kit, to make it for a charity, I was just like, oh, I'm definitely doing this. And and I'm I'm really glad that they did it. And I hope that other clubs follow suit, man. I, I was going to say, do you think that impacts the... I mean, we've seen it with like the uh, Rainbow Laces campaign and stuff, but um, there's definitely uh, a shift in the perception of what is and what isn't taboo as football clubs can come out and say now. I think one of the most important things was, I think Idris addressed it on ITV's programme before the game at Forest, yeah. was that obviously you said they're not selling the shirts. Which I think is such a big thing because yeah. it, it means that at these youth centres and stuff, if you do get one of these shirts, it actually means quite a lot. Yeah, and yeah. It's quite like a big yeah. statement. Yeah. Because I think if you sold them, yes, you could raise money for charity. Mm. But I feel like it just it impacts people more on a personal level by yeah. not selling them. No, it's true. It's, it, was, it was proper stuff. I mean, I had quite a lot of people that hit me up for a shirt. Normally, when the again, the privileges of being a YouTuber, mm. I, you <laughs> go home and Adidas have sent you yeah. Yeah. the, the shirt. It's just it's there. And I remember I was at Swindon because I'd already done the, the interview. I was at Swindon on the Friday for the Man City game. Right. I'm driving back and I, and I wasn't sure. I was like, they're not selling it, but am I going to get one? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get one. <laughs> but I thought, oh, no, actually, no, I think it has, but I just haven't collected it from the post because I missed it. Okay. And I went to the post office today, but it was closed. Oh. But anyway, <laughs> but, um, but it means a lot. Normally, yeah. like I give all of them away, but I'm going to frame this one because... Yeah. I can't believe that a football club has used their platform to do that. It, yeah. It's And for me, it means a lot because growing up, bro, my best friend, I've got a best friend that I lost because he got stabbed in the heart. You know, like seeing that yeah. till today, how many people, I, I can tell you at least a few with one hand, it's not nice. It's really not nice. So the fact that, Football clubs are are doing that just means that I, I can only recommend them, man. Well, that's what that's what I mean. It opens the door for mm. more uh, positive yeah. campaigns mm. um, to basically change the world as we know it. Really, isn't yeah. it? So yeah. I just wanted your opinion. No, it, it's 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 good. I'm just so happy, and I hope that going forward, it's something that all clubs, if they want to, it's not up to. Like I said, it's it's not even their responsibility. Mm. If I'm honest with you, but the fact that they have. Yeah. Well played, guys. Um, well, speaking of Arsenal yeah. and Arsene Wenger, mm. um, you've met Arsene Wenger, am I right? A few times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what did you guys chat about and what, was, what do you think of his opinion on the World Cup? Yeah. Obviously, they, he wants to move it to every two years, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, I'm not with it. You're not with it? No, I'm not with that. Have you ever discussed that with him? Or nah, was it not at the time that he came out? And we, we were talking, it was casual, but we were talking okay. in French. He's a very clever oh, man. Wow. Oh, like very clever man. Like I've met him a few times. Like for example, I was doing a, um, I was actually filming a documentary for Kanu uh, a couple years ago and we traveled the world to do it. That's and classy. the reason why we did it wasn't necessarily to reduce, produce it is, I'll get back to the wing a bit in a second, but it's because Kanu has a heart foundation because obviously he yes. he went through the heart stuff and uh, and him and his wife and his team wanted me to come on board and kind of like, just basically help film and produce it, whatever. And we went, we did a charity match here in uh, Barnet Stadium. Oh, yeah. We also traveled to Nigeria to his offices and to meet the people there and the people that they, they work on. And then flew out the people from there to India where they have wow. the surgery, right? And then, uh, but through that process, Arsene Wenger got involved. Oh, did he really? Yeah, wow. he's like the nicest man when it comes to like certain things, and yeah. he's just and he was like part of it. And let me tell you something: when he goes somewhere, bro, it's like an aura. Yeah, yeah. him and Fergie, they they're not human beings. Yeah. Like they mm -hmm. move, when yeah. they move, it's like floating. Yeah, 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 you know it's different. And and um, because the last the lot the most recent time I met him, he did the interview with with Rio on Five, and and um. It was just amazing, innit? And basically he, I went downstairs 
made sure I went downstairs. <laughs> like, oh yeah, um, someone needs you upstairs. And then <laughs> I'm just looking at him. I met him before, but you know, you're just looking at him. Yeah. And then Rio is just like, oh, this is Joel. As if it's the first time I met him. Like, he, he's a massive Arsenal fan. I was like, hello. I'm like, hi, you're right. Like, and then after that, just started talking in yeah. French or whatever. But he's really like knowledgeable of things. And he just kept me there. Yeah. And he was just like, oh. Mm. He loves to chat. Well, I'm not going to say it was like a 10 no, minute chat. Let's, let me not exaggerate, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. it was longer than what I thought it was going to be. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, but he's just really knowledgeable. And I think maybe he feels like that about the World Cup and maybe he is right. I was asked, why do you not like the idea of two years? And I think, I think it kind of waters it down. Yeah. But at the same time, I think it's because humans don't like change. I... What are your what what are your thoughts behind not having it every two years? Well, when when will the Euros be? Well, they'd be filled in the gaps. Yeah, they? it'll be two years for that. From, it, they'd still they'd still have it, they'd still have an every for the Euros. Yeah. Well, not even that, but they'd still have the they'd still have Euros every four years. So the Euros would be more infrequent, but the World Cup. Would but be I think every the, two the years. World Cup. Eventually, the Euros will do this. Yeah, you but think. I just, I think the World Cup. The reason why it is so special is because it's every four years. Mm. It's like if it was every two years, it would come around so quickly that it would start to lose its, it would start to lose its like um, special nature, like special touch. Like same with the Olympics. Like the Olympics, for example, people train four years. Like that is their, that is what they do. They train for it. That this is their big moment. I feel like if it was moved every two years, it just it, it cheapens it a little bit. But do you know what they're gonna? They're planning they're, the thoughts of what they're planning to do. Things like straight knockouts because they're doing like stats and research so they're finding within their stats and research which i don't completely agree with but they're saying that people don't really watch those tournaments until like the knockout stage that's when it gets real competitive which, yeah, which yeah. i agree but as a football fan i just watch yeah. everything in it yeah. but they were like <laughs> what are they gonna start they that's thinking, what they're trying to do right they're trying to sell to casuals they're try the pe the people that are hardcore football fans and viewers will already be watching, yeah. Regardless of whether yeah. it's four years, two, two years, years, one year, we blah blah blah. Cry, so you're not there. trying to, you're not trying to crack a market that you already have. You're trying to break into a market of people that you know. probably don't take as much. But I think interest. even if you don't look at it from the fans' perspective, I think it will cheapen it for the players. I don't know. Really? Well, don't know. Every, World Cup. Every two years, yeah, because like. <sighs> If it's every two years, you could sort of get away with being like, um, it might sound outrageous, but like a player, A, they don't get a lot of rest, a lot of players. Look at Pedri, for example. If, and I feel like they they could be more inclined to be like, oh, I'll take a rest this summer. I won't play in this World Cup because I've got it in two years' time anyway. Maybe. Whereas every four years, it's which like, it, this which? could be a once in a... It's a yeah, weird way of looking yeah. at it, but in four, every four years, it's like, shit, I need to... I need do to what? get it now. I need to like work my ass off and try and be in the squad. What they're trying to do though is a straight knockout system where you play. If you lose, you go home. Yeah. So that that mm. eliminates the the fatigue element. Do you get what I'm coming oh, from? Oh yeah, but yeah. then that would be yeah. like. Yeah. Well, but then but then look, you know, you've gone mad like oh my god like that, and they want that whole quarterfinals, semifinals feeling throughout. Because can you imagine if that's just you throughout? Yeah. You talk about casual fans. You know, I'm not saying that's what I want, but I can see the appeal. what they're saying, yeah. you know. And then what else did they say? And then they will play all the international fixtures. You know, like we've got like random international breaks yeah. in like September, October, yeah. whatever. Yeah. They'll have like a window of like that's a better. month or so. I think it's better, but then at the same time, I don't know about you guys, but interaction is always down when it's international. Yeah, yeah, 100%, so 100%. Are we really going to be happy with that being down for like five and you got, six And then you've got Nations League. Uh, well, yeah, I'm but like it's, I just, I just know I, yeah. I, I feel like every four years it's like, yeah, it's the good, it's the good amount of time between the World Cups to make it special. I don't really have a solid opinion, opinion. on it. I just, I just, I see the pros and cons of having it, yeah. both two and four. Do you think we should try it? <sighs> I, I'd like to. See I think if you, if you try I, it, in the it, format that you, in the format you that you're yeah. saying, I'd, I'd like to see it too. Because think about what the world's been through, right, over the past few years. We, like it's, it seems like we've suffered enough right and we're growing more impatient as a yeah a, content everything yeah should, every, but, everything's instant right everything's instant but for Harry Maguire to balls it off and we go home <laughs> after the first game like do we really want that yeah really? I don't think I can hack the if you lose you're out kind of vibe like can you imagine lose you're out but that's that, that's like what happens like 
uh, th- th- I'm sure there's been a World Cup do, where do you, do you not the, think... the winner of the World Cup has lost a game. Yeah. Like I'm in the group yeah, state. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure yeah. that's happened. Yeah, of course it has. Yeah. Put, well, Portugal didn't actually win a game until They didn't win a game until the final. That was shocking. They didn't win a game in 90 minutes until the final. I know horrible. it's not the same tournament, yeah. but it's even... Uh, yeah, but that was horrible. Yeah. I, I really hate that. I only like it because of Cristiano, but... Do you not think that's the most elite of the elite competition you can get, though? It's There's that much pressure that if you lose the game that you Oh, yeah, no, I completely with, understand that. But so that's, the, that's the best stage possible you can have. Like, you're knocked out if you don't win. Do you reckon that gives a chance for, like, the underdogs, or do you reckon it gives less of a chance I think it, Yeah, I think it makes everything more competitive because a one-off game is completely different. You don't find your groove straight away, you know? I think it makes it more interesting. Yeah, I think yeah. you get World Cup winners from around the globe at that point. Do you reckon? Yeah. They're just, yeah, yeah. they're just, they, they find... It's a cup final every game. Such and such from Turkey, like, literally. Oh, yeah. Maybe let's trial it in, like, yeah. a... <laughs> Uh, try, try that format all in, like, I'm in saying, club all, level all, like all club I'm saying level first. All, all I'm saying if the professor thinks it's a good <laughs> the idea the prof- oh, mate, then, he is. then there's obviously some reason for it have you seen have you, uh, uh, just to uh, segue into something else have yeah. you seen that uh, Austin Wenger tried to sign Vlahovic in like 2016 no way yeah and now and now it's come full circle and everyone's interested in him that's how confident I am that Austin Wenger knows what he's doing yeah he's he's really our like stepdad isn't he yeah i think the thing with him i love him to pieces i just think he should have left a little bit earlier i think if he had left after the first i'm glad we've got four FA cups in eight years by the way all you haters but um i think if he had left after that whole fa cup it would have been a little bit better it was a little bit sad um, he didn't deserve a tumor on as well. I yeah, like I was at Troops' wedding. Let's just call it out, you know, Troops. I was just at Troops' <laughs> wedding on Saturday. Uh, big up to yourself, Troops. But, you know, people like him, they weren't having it near the end. He yeah. says it's not him, but I tell him, shh, it was you. It was <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. It was you, you know. And, uh, and, and um, yeah, I just think he should have left earlier. Man. I think maybe it was probably f- for him, obviously, I have no idea, but like maybe it was quite hard to let go because he'd been there for so long. Like he basically. Made the he club that it is today. Bro. He he significantly changed the entirety of English football. He ran yeah. it from top yeah. to bottom. You know, weird story. Arsene Wenger story here. I was with him in the elevator the day he got he left. Really? It was the most awkward elevator ride I've ever been in. Was in he my swearing life. in French? No, it's because <laughs> he's got the aura. Yeah, he yeah. looks like he he lives in ASOS, right? Yeah. So <laughs> we're there because I was on the pitch that pitch that day I was working for Arsenal that day so I get in the lift I'm going upstairs to whatever and then it just stops at a floor and then you just see a really tall guy He's yeah like, hello <laughs> it, 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 literally there's a hello he walks inside but it was just like oh, silence because we knew Listen, he's gone. And it didn't feel like he went because he wanted to go. Mm. It felt like there was a bit of a nudge. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. they made it seem like, but, you know, so we were there in the elevator and it was just quiet. Really? It was like painfully quiet. <laughs> and then he just got off his stuff and his, his floor and went. It's like, wow. Yeah. Yeah, it was tough. It was a tough day. Like tears. Uh, you mentioned that you work with Arsenal. You also... Yeah. Well, you work with so many companies, but EA is another one that you work with. We all work with EA. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, really? yeah, I, I, like, just, I just wanted to bring it like, to the fact that there's a team in the year currently. Did, oh, yeah. Did, people did, you, for. did you go to Russia with us? I didn't. Because what the I, I, I had a I had a coin sponsor, so I was on the EA naughty list. But okay. you went, oh yeah. So so at that point I was blacklisted. But you that's right. Like, yeah, I've never had a coin sponsor me. I've always been a good boy. Oh yeah, you haven't been doing FIFA long enough, so have you? That's I can't believe it. Yeah, you guys had the greatest time, Casey. You, I can't E-Man. believe it. What, Rio, the, Rio did the yeah, Rio yeah, ran, yeah. was manager for the yeah. little Rebel Five Assault oh, team. Right, right. 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 This is way more interesting. No, you know, I don't, I don't know if you're allowed to talk about <laughs> it. Did Fee and is it Fee and Charlie that put you on on the ban? What was it? Oh yeah, I'm. Oh, I'm almost certain it was like maybe a Carl involvement. Carl, I don't know. But now we're like best mates. So. But yeah, um, I, can, are we at discretion to say what you've been doing with them? It might yeah, come out no, afterwards. Fine, but yeah, yeah. Um, I think so, mine's supposed to be out. Mine's out. Okay then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah so you've been involved so with the new team promotion, which is yeah. Team of the Year. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, it happens in real life, but it also mm-hmm, happens on mm-hmm, the game mm-hmm. where. Uh, basically, you vote. Right, yeah, you're going to pay me twice for this, or what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? You go vote on, for like on. the 11 best players in yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah. So, 
you've been through all this, but we're going to try and regurgitate easy. it. Who was your team of the year? Easy, um, easy. You and I would do ours as well. Mendy in goal. Okay. I don't want to mention the other award ceremonies, but I don't know how they've been missing him out. I think it's blasphemy because the guy's stats were ridiculous Champions as well. League winner, man. Champions League winner, but he's got like a 51% shot stopping rate as well. 51%? Yeah, 51%. Like, it's ridiculous. His save, um, his save percentage for this season, I don't know about last season, mm. but for this season is 82. I heard, I heard this Are we doing it Prem yeah. or just Team of the Year? No, the, 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 the options that are available. Um, okay. yeah. Our, our friend mad. at EA, Charlie, sent us the... Yeah. yeah. Did he say? Did he say? We all know Charlie goes. Yeah, yeah. Could you just uh, yeah, go? On, what was that a text? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how I read it. Yeah. Oh man. But nah. yeah, a little bit extra work for Jamie this time because he might have yeah. put the graphics on screen. Yeah. Thank you. Shout mate. out to Jamie. Yeah. Was did Jamie reach out to me on socials? It was Jamie. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. Well, we, cool. We, cool. We asked. Yeah, him. you asked him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, Edward Mending Golfie has got the thing up. Yeah. I. Up. I, I Back four was easy, really, and it's got to be an it's English one, isn't it? Right, yeah. Yeah. Cancelo, uh, Rudiger, yep. Diaz, and Carl Walker. I, I, you meant Walker? Yeah, because I think people want to kind of like, I was kind of seeing if, does he really deserve to be there? But then I thought, no, he actually does because, you know, he won the Premier League. His concentration levels are super high now, now that he's at City. Hmm. He won the League Cup, people forget. Yeah, yeah. He was runners up for the Champions League. Uh, and then on top of that, he played six. He was runners up for the Euros and as the well. Euros, yeah. He played six. He played six out of the seven games at the Euros. And the games he played, he played a full ninety minutes. I do you know, know what? I, that's that's unfallible logic, and I never even thought. Yeah, I, 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 I career, always but. thought Kyle Walker just does go under the radar somehow. I think because we're kind of used of that, we kind of see him when we go pace gets him out of trouble, which it does. But sometimes I think to play in that Pep Guardiola team. Yeah. For so long. For, for so long. long. Like, Don't forget, when Cancelo came, a lot of people thought, ooh, hmm. Walker <laughs> might be out. Yeah. But he switched Cancelo to play on the left just to make sure that Carl stays in the team. Yeah. That says a lot. It so does. that's my back four. Mm -hmm. It's four, three, three. In the middle, I've got um, Jorginho, which, again, when you really think about it, he's not my favorite player in the Prem, if I'm honest with you. I tried, all, to, I tried to, exactly. Yeah. He, you know, he won the Champions League, won the Euros, well, won the, mm -hmm, yeah. yeah. I know, it's but we had, we had, we had, we had this, this uh, hop, yeah. skip, pens, people, yeah. but you then, know? A few years ago, because you know he came second in Ballon d'Or. Did he come second? Yeah, third, I, thought third, that, third. I thought that was blasphemy. Third, third. Who came Levin, second? Lewandowski came Lewandowski, second. sorry. Oh, that's but, the worst. This is, oh. For a few years ago, Sammy Kadira won it all one year. 2014. And he wasn't nominated for anything. He won everything. Well, but I'm not... Well, you know I mean? yeah. But I understand why Jorginho yeah. is in there because yeah, and, he quite I, literally has won yeah, it all yeah, this yeah, year. Yeah. I mean, but you, you've got to go on... I'm not going on ability here. I'm going on form. Mm. Do you know where I'm coming from? Yeah, or, do, yeah. And I'm going on merit more than ability. Because he wouldn't be anywhere near my ability. Sorry, I mean, sorry, George. Well, you can, when you consider you know the I mean? list of midfielders that they've given, come on, it does. You know what yeah. I mean? So I had, I have him, Kevin De Bruyne, because he is just the man. I like that. Me. The man, and then um, I think Kante should have been there or Verratti, but I decided to go left. And just put Barella in there from Inter Milan. I just wanted really? to be different. I know the Euros. Yeah, I, right. he won the Euros. He won Serie A, and his stats are pretty, pretty good. So no, 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 be. Bruno Fernandes. No way near. Well, he's a I nominee. Would, he's a nominee. No, he, I, well, yeah. I like Bruno, but don't forget Bruno. Bruno sits down for Portugal. He's not allowed. <laughs> he's not allowed to. And he's, he's been a bit to quiet be recently as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he he sits down for Portugal. That literally, whole, I mean, he's not that allowed. whole team's been quiet. Let's be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's true. It's true. <laughs> and then the front front line picks itself. Picks itself. Yeah. Um, you know what? You might not agree. Actually, oh, well, no, no, because I've got my thoughts on this. No, we're going to yeah. do it together. We're going to do okay. it together. All right, because I did Benzema. Interesting. I should have said that last. Yeah. But Benzema is my wild card because okay. if you think of it. But who? Whoa. Well, oh, that means one of the three that in my mind should Where's be there aren't there. Because Lewandowski's there, okay. right? We all agree. Yes, we. Oui. Yep. Of course. Sue. Um, Sue. Absolutely no <laughs> way near. Sue is sitting out. Yeah. And then, because on our one, Rio tried to put him in and I'm like, stop it. Stop trying to do the whole Man United thing. I said, first of all, how can you be suing from middle of the table? Yeah. Like, it doesn't make yeah. sense. Like, you're literally middle. Yeah. 
But um, I had him. No, I had. It's you know like Salah or Messi, surely. Salah. The last one. But yeah, Salah. Salah. No Messi. Yeah, I, just, I, I want it to be different. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. To be very honest with you, he should have been there. But it's because the league. You know what? I was so inconsistent with myself. Because let's be honest with you, he scored forty-two goals in uh, in total last season. I think forty something like probably. that. Probably something but mad. Poor from him, but maybe four hundred. Yeah, like that, something yeah. mad. Close. Obviously, he scored one league goal. He's got five and five for the Champions League though, and that's why PSG bought him. But in the Farmers Stop League, it. he scored once. Stop it! Once in the league, I could score in league. Uh, come on! Oh my god, you lot! Of... I, this know. Can't be real. I know. This can't be real. You can't I know. I know. All right, wait yeah. until you hear mine. <laughs> Go on. Um, uh, I actually agree are with you. A, are we doing a pitch I'll, I'll, joint one, I'll, or do you want to do? I'll individuals? run through mine quickly if you don't okay, mind. Okay, okay, Inga, yeah. I'm going to agree with you and say Mendy. Yeah, I think he's, to be, he, he, he he to come in. Obviously, Kepa was good, and then he had his really poor form. Kepa Shame really Ramsdale. But then, but really. to come in, you know, to come in and just straight <laughs> yeah, away. Yeah, it's not easy. You know I mean? And to come into the Premier League as well. Premier League. It can take a lot of players a lot of time, and he, that's what you need from a goalie. I didn't know how it was going to go. He's kind of like came out of nowhere for me. But you, as a keeper, you just have to, as Ben Foster says, if you if you go, you know, you're not a big, you don't get talked about loads, but you just do your job and you're reliable. That's what you and want. And win keeper, the Champions League. And win the Champions League, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Matty. Defenders, yeah. Uh, Cancelo. Yeah. Uh, Ruben Dej. Mm. Um, I... You didn't pick Rudiger, did you? No, I didn't. Flipping it. I, I, I'm, I'm That's inc- a bit mad, by I'm the way. inclined to say either like a Benucci or Chiellini. I thought beca- about Because them. of the Euros. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's seven games, mate. In Serie A, they didn't... What, what did they come? What, third, second, third? Whatever mm. they did, they didn't Not win it. Not good enough because Ronaldo uh, left and everyone went, oh, he's leaving <laughs> yeah. the losing team to come to Man yeah. United. And on top of that, and on top of that, if you look at... I'm not going to act like I watch Serie A every week. Yeah. Yeah. I hardly watch it. But when you like go and you do your little research, they're hardly playing. Hmm. They hardly play. You've got the, do you know what I mean? Like they're not really playing. Like obviously they've done what they've had to do now. So whether they play or not, they're legends. Yeah. But they're not really playing this season. I don't really know who to go. I think I might go. The thing is, I went out, I think I said this to you, didn't I? When Arsenal played Chelsea, I watched Rudiger play and I was like, oh my God. This guy he's is the got, quickest man alive. He's the quickest man I think I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, he is, he is. Like he was, mate. He was a joke. I've never seen a centre back move so fast in my life. Potentially off to let Madrid, alone a footballer, right? huh? Potentially off to Madrid. Really? I've yeah, they're, people, they're, I've they're, seen they're, they're trying to do a solid. They're trying to basically their plan is to get a solid spine. Sorry mm. to interrupt you. Yeah. Rudiger at the back, Pogba in the middle, and Mbappe. And Mbappe forty-one yeah. million, bargain. But is that going? Because I saw the bid, but it's because he's out of contract at the su- in the summer. So they want to make sure they secure they either, it. Just get a small price literally... for him, or for free in the summer. Or obviously PSG give him another Surely contract. They take yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd think. Surely they take the forty-one million. They have to. You can't just let him go for free, like contractually, unless they offer him a new one. Mm. Take the money. They should have um, took the two hundred. I'm just so stunned. They should have, innit? Like, they should have. They've, 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 they've not point two x themselves, mate. It's horrible. I'm so stuck on this defence. I think, yeah, I now think it's pride, isn't it? I don't want to take the forty-one million because I never took the two hundred. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. Oh, you're making me want to say Rudiger now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I'm gonna pick go. Who you, know, you want? Don't, no, don't I am. listen to he, me, bro. He, look, he's won Champa <laughs> League as well. Like, it's, and to be fair, when I saw him in person, I know it doesn't mean much. When I saw him in person, I was just, I was blown away. He's good. Enough. I was blown away. So I got Cancelo, Diaz, Rudiger. You missing a defender? Yeah, no, I'm gonna go. I, 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 I out muscled Rudiger. By the way, I got a video of it. <laughs> and he was We're gonna need this. I swear to you. I'm like, um, I, you know, I'm just gonna go Trent. That's my back five. I'm going to go Trent. You can't. No, I've made... There is no... Don't get me wrong. He's played good since like November, right? Yeah, but, but you've got to realise he was injured for so long. So why is he in your season. team then? Yeah, Mate, wait, you, you're, pick, you're picking ability. <laughs> if you're picking We're ability. not going for ability. It's team of the year. Exactly. And of you, the year, not ability team of the year. Look, I did a free kick challenge against him and he's well good at free kick. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> mate here. Flipping that didn't trigger so many people, but I'm going oh, with Trent. I do like him a lot. Yeah, I, I want also I really want that Trent team of the year card on FIFA. Oh, so you're picking for the game? Nah, not really. He's unreal. I'm, I'm just not mo- saying I'm he's... mocking it a little bit, but he's unreal. I Let's want, be honest. Yeah, with you. I do he's, like Trent. I do like. He's him. unreal, but um, he didn't win the league last year. He didn't win any cups. I know. He didn't get picked for the Euros, which is not his fault. But I, want, I basically I 
I wanted Kyle Walker because I really rate him, but I don't want to go the same as you. I'm trying to be different. Come on, man. <laughs> Midfield on, three man. of KDB. Mm, has to be. Um, ooh, K. It's annoying as well because, like, I really despise the fact I want Those Jorginho. Oh, no, bro. I went through. The I despise same the thing. fact that <laughs> I know he's going to be in Team of the Year. Jorginho and, and Kante. It. But my my roots are you the whole Sammy Kadira thing. Is that yes? He won everything. He deserves to be in Team of the Year. I know, but bro. I know. Do you remember when we had this original conversation about uh, who deserves Ballon d'Or, yeah. and we said at the time oh, maybe he doesn't deserve Ballon d'Or, but he'll certainly get in Team of the Year. And now we're at Team of the Year. You've gone, ah, I don't even deserve that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have to, you yeah. have to put him in. <laughs> I can't believe they were saying he was going to win Ballon d'Or. It was driving yeah, me yeah. mad. Yeah, it was insane. It's journos though, isn't it? Like That, that whole competition is voted driving by journalists. Me mad. Um, I'm going to go Jorginho and Kante. That's the same as me. Back to, back to that. Sorry, yeah. Sorry to interrupt, but... There were like some players who were like out of like the top ten who should have been there, innit? Players like Lukaku didn't get anywhere there was someone, near for Ballon d'Or. Number twenty three. That's Salah was seventh. Salah was seventh, which I think it's is outrageous. Just, yeah. Do you reckon though? But because we're talking about calendar year. Oh no, nah, Salah deserved to be top. Cal- what? Well, he didn't get prem. He was prem top goal scorer, wasn't he? Last season. I think, I think he was I think just so. different. He was. He's, 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 he's yeah, just yeah. different. Yeah, he he's class above everyone yeah, was, in the world but, right now. Do you think he? No, 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 no. Harry Kane was no. You got most goals and assists last year. Oh, really? You guys help us out in the comments, so. please. We're struggling. Um, actually, do you know what? I'm going to switch it up. I'm not even. Uh, I, I'm not finished my yeah, front three. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh no, no, because we're doing midfields. And, okay, you go. So you go, I'm, go. I'm, I'm, I'm actually. Who also, did you pick in defence? Same, same. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Seriously. Same back five. Both be yeah. drinking in the same pub. <laughs> wow. <laughs> on on merit, I'll probably Carl Walker, but um, what <laughs> for? for, for, for actual pure ability, the best five players. But it's not ability. If it was ability, my yeah, team would be completely different. Uh, yeah, but... Uh, it's not. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? Really? All right, well, okay. No, uh, pick who you want. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I didn't want a car, can I? No, I got it. I, I, I want to say Trent. I want to say Trent. I've got, go a, I've got an affinity on. for Trent. Um, in midfield, I'm going to go Pedri. He won Golden Boy, so I think he deserves a shout of being in there. Um, team of the year. <laughs> yeah, but he won the best youngster of the year. Most Why games would... played? In a calendar year? No, well, he won or, Golden Boy. He, won, he actually won the thing. So if you give a Ballon d'Or winner, you give the junior Ballon d'Or winner some air time as well, no? All right, anyway. Uh, Jorg- may, may as well give Under 18's Ballon d'Or Jorginho, winner. Pedri, Jorginho and Kante, I think. Yeah. No KDB? No KDB. Who did Pedri win last year? Pro- probably not a lot, but I mean, he won the... He, he, he won, he was actually. He won the kids' award. He he won the kids' award and he was Spain's best player in not a bad. But he was, for them. But Yeah, he's definitely a problem big in future. The future. Oh mate. Yeah man. But he's he, he's gonna he's gonna fina- save Barcelona financially. Him and what's his face? <laughs> um, um, what's his name? Gavi. You know Gavi. Is what's his name? Atu as well, isn't it? Like proper. Oh yeah yeah yeah. La Masia talents, mate. La Masia, been there. Um, my front three, by the way. Or is, who, who said it was the Lamasala? Lamasaya. No, someone said Lamasala. La Joe Cole. Joe Cole was on ah, punditry la and he said ah, yeah, yeah, Lamasala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw that last season. Yeah. <laughs> Lamasala. Uh, funny, funny. Uh, so a lot of people are going to be like, oh, Phil, you deleted it at football. But I'm yeah. just saying, I'll just say you my front what? three because Mate. I already said it. I was uh, Salah, Lewandowski, and Messi. Okay. My front three. Not, yeah, you're you're right. Yours is yours is better than mine. I think I was trying to be different. Well, Be- Benzema's had an incredible season. I think Benzema stays in there. I think Salah sits out. Really? Well, you said you had Salah in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I but I think Messi <laughs> Messi should have been there, but I was being stubborn. Like you know, like you're being stubborn with Trent. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. being stubborn with 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 Kante and Messi. Yeah, fair enough. I don't know why. I just yeah. didn't want to give Messi the props. How can, but how can you not give the Ballon d'Or when a team of the year? Put Ronaldo in there. No chance. Mate. No I am way. going. I am going with Lewandowski. Yeah. Of course. In my humble opinion, he should have won Ballon d'Or. Yeah. I'm going with Salah. Fair enough. I just think he's the best player in the world right now. Yeah. And I think he's just. Uh, I genuinely. Think it would. It would be a disservice to how good he is as a footballer is, to not be in this. He team is of the, the year. best player in the world. And he, he's just class above everyone. I think he's just different class. Mm. So we've got Lewandowski. But that's definitely that's what Joel was saying. That's definitely a form pick. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, well, is what it is. He's him. He's, he's gonna yeah. And my 
third pick, obviously you've got Zou, Ronaldo. Yeah. You've, you've got, Le- you know, you've got Benzema, you've got Messi. And obviously I'm a man of reason. <laughs> okay. And I know ball. And I'm going with the Ballon d'Or winner, Lionel Messi. Because Why did you give that such a... Just to hype people up. Yeah, just wanted to tickle preface, some people. Just some people have already messy. Some, he's, he's, some people are deleting comments right now saying he's a fucking idiot. You're yeah. going to put Ronaldo. But um, mate, I, in my, I, I, if you win the Ballon d'Or, you have to be a team of the year. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my logic anyway. What was your logic? He didn't deserve to it. Not, I yeah. was being difficult. But I, but my whole thing was you can't score one league goal in League A and be in team of the year. And you but he wasn't, and you are, he wasn't bought oh, for that. He wasn't bought for that. Also, he, he did leave Barca. He didn't, go, he didn't go to PSG to win Ligue 1, did he? He's gone to win, win the Champions League. No, it's League. not good enough. They didn't win it last year either. <laughs> no, they didn't. But he also wasn't there. The, so. I know, but that's like the one. To, that's why Mbappe isn't there. Because I was thinking, oh, should I put him in there? And I thought, no, not after that World yeah. Cup performance. And not after... And he missed the penalty against Switzerland. <sighs> yeah, not and that. But they won Nations League though, right? When was that? Uh, France did. Yeah, yeah, that was the Benjamin Worldy, wasn't it? That yeah, that was recently, the, isn't it? Yeah. But obviously, it's not It's not enough to put you in there. I just thought, you can't win. He, he was top goal scorer, by the way, Mbappe, in the French League. Blitzed it. But I just thought, nah. I see mm. him at Real Madrid. Nah. Um, yeah, I don't. Ronaldo don't make it. I'm sorry. Oh, boo-hoo. But also, Messi left Barcelona, and Barcelona went in the bin. Nah. Yeah. Like, people think I don't like Messi. Like, I love Messi. I think he's a generational talent. Yeah. <laughs> What, do people think you don't like him in the comments? Yeah, I'm a big Ronaldo fan, and they th- they just think I don't like him. Generational talent in the past 18 years. <laughs> but yeah. like, re- let's face it, like Messi is probably well. Okay, this is what I wanted to touch on the last episode. Ooh. I was having this private conversation with me and Chris MD. Go on. And like, oh my god, Messi Twitter just hate me. They hate me. Like, they think mm. I'm a. They they really despise really? me. You know, I think they, I- look, the, the the argument started when Chris said Messi's the best goal scorer of all time, and I just said, well, Ronaldo's got more goals. So. Well, I think that's fair. Yeah, and Messi has a better ratio, but like he just doesn't have the same. Like, it's like I think that's fair. If he's got one goal in one game, he's got a better ratio than both Messi and Ronaldo. And there's a player who's got a 1.77. I can't remember. It's like Petro- Petroria or something. He's got a 1.77 goal ratio. Yeah, but they don't like you because you'd be a prick then. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But my yeah. point being is, <laughs> I do think when Messi retires, he will be the greatest football of all time. Yeah. And I he will be so. the greatest no, goal you scorer. Can't, you, can't, he, no, hang on. you can't have and that he, narrative because people on here are expecting and more, Ronaldo, and more so. importantly, he will be the greatest goal scorer of all time. I don't think he's the greatest goal scorer of all time. Now, I think he's the greatest goal scorer of all time when he retires because inevitably he's younger than Ronaldo and it's just inevitable yeah. that he probably will overtake the Might number of goals. Might even go back goals. to Barcelona. You never know. I think he will. Mm. But um, I think Messi, when he retires, will be the greatest footballer of all time. No, I, I, it's funny because... I'm not hated on Twitter. I'm hated on the Sport Bible comments because I I, I do it for a living. I love it. Yeah. I go and I wind <laughs> oh. up everyone on Sport Bible comments right. as if as if I lived there. But they think I'm just Mr. Ronaldo, Same which, I, which I am online. But yeah. in real life, I'm a bigger Messi fan. Really? Yeah. I just think he's it, for me. Don't get me wrong. Ronaldo is. We've all said it. He's he's like you in the gym. He's. And then you just have some people that are just built with it. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Messi's just... It's, I always think it's very much the like nature versus nurture. Yeah. So yeah, like, wow, that's yeah. a good one. Nature versus nurture. I don't think that's nurture. his, but... Oh. No, it is. Okay. No, it's mine. <laughs> no, that, that was brilliant. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, um, I've got... That's not really good for your image now. You're supposed to be very pro... Yeah, Ronaldo, I, said when Messi reti- Messi. I said when Messi retires, he will be, but he's not retired. Therefore, so, till then... Yeah, yeah, till then, it's... Oh, 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 See, oh, nine, yeah, yeah. <laughs> till then, it's... Soo- yeah. I wake up from mid table. You've oh, broken yeah. the fourth wall a little bit here because now people realise that you're you're not, what? As, not as lacking in ball knowledge as you actually make out. Pe- people online were saying that Ronaldo's movement is just shocking. There's one YouTuber called Ransom Bans. He said he's seen more he's seen more movement in the graveyard. Oh, that <laughs> is outrageous! I don't want to hear it. That, that, those are the type of that have lack of ball knowledge. <laughs> not, not, not people for you, disrespect man. Ronaldo, you know? Literally, like, the, what, the greatest player of all time. No, he is. But you see, we keep saying this. You seem to do what I do. We'll say things like, he's the best ever. But yet we really think Messi is. But it's like we don't count him. It's like he's there. And then we it's go, a, Ronaldo's just the best. It's like best. when people say, like, Maradona's the best of all time. But he's just not. You never, you've never watched enough to confirm that, though. No, but, like, you just look at stats. 
<laughs> yeah, it's true. Stat padding. Well, I and do think like it, how, it's very difficult to compare. It's very difficult to compare like how good was the Pat highlights Pat. are just not the same either. Yeah. Let's be honest not with you. No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the highlights are not the same either. <laughs> like how? Wait, how, realistically, how good was Pele? I mean, he can't, he can't, he can't, playground goals. Do you know what? Sorry. Do you yeah. know what? Yeah. You're absolutely right. I haven't seen enough Pele YouTube compilations yeah. to know whether. But or what yeah. I'm saying <laughs> is, obviously, in his standard of football, in his era, he was the goat. Yeah. How would Pele do in the Prem in 2022? Well, we don't know because well, the training like will be different, though. Exactly. Yeah, I guess no, so. the, the training nutrition. will be different. The nutrition, you don't know. I don't think he'd do very well because he's like 80 years old, isn't he? <laughs> so. Well, yeah, no. Nah. But listen, because we like mentioning footballers and that, Gary Lineker, reliable source, right? <laughs> he, he told me that he obviously played with mm. Maradona. Yeah. He thought he would never see a player as good as Maradona. But he goes, but when he looks at it, he reckons Messi's better. Oh, he's he's the biggest and Messi advocate really in the world. Really, I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I thought and it was just something he told me personally. No, no. Like it, Messi, 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 could, Messi could honestly score like a four-yard tap in, and he goes, "It's the greatest yeah. of all time." Do you, do you think how mad it is? How similar Messi and Maradona it's are, so scary. and it's and do you remember the goal, the me, the, he, the Messi goal when he carbon copied Maradona's goal against England? Yeah. Like it is so. Like you couldn't, you it's, couldn't even you recreate. Even try. No, like th there's something weird going on there. Like that Honestly. goal, Messi scored. If you play him side by side, it, it was it's oh, it's side by side online, mate. Like the round the keeper, right foot chip, like. But they're they're they're, the, it's one they're, they're, like, they're distantly related on the same family tree now. No, no oh yeah, they are now because of the yeah. Aguero, Aguero yeah. link. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you don't know what we're talking Sticking about, it in the family. Research. I know, yeah. but uh, Joel, obviously you saw the leaderboard on the board over there. Man, like fog. He got only he get, two, two though. I wouldn't. Two. Yeah. Ben Foster one, Freezy one. Oh yeah. <laughs> the uh, the yeah. quiz we do is out of five. Okay. What's it about? Football. Football. <laughs> All right, cool. Football. No, I used to do the, I used to do these quizzes. <laughs> the, I used to come up with the questions. <laughs> oh Jamie's yeah. Jamie's taken over because I like I now quite find it fun to sort of guess and play along. Are the answers well. okay. on this one? I'm. They're not been here. Jamie's going to tell oh, us. So but we, we need oh. you to not shout sorry, out the sorry, answers. Yeah, yeah. He likes, no, no, to, no. he likes to get involved. No, no, that never happened. It's not happened. Oh, yeah, because it comes out in the future. Right. What, do, what do I get if I would get five out of five or if I'm on top? You get put. You get to sign the shirt. I get to sign well, a shirt. You get to do that anyway. Yeah, we'll let let, let, let me have Jamie's yeah, yeah. boots because them boots are sick, you know. <laughs> I got clothes that I'll rock with that, bruv, all day long. <laughs> are, they, are, they, are they cat? No, no, they're uh, Dr. Martins. Dr. Martins, yeah? Martins. Come on, my, my brother. My dad used to work for them. Really? Is it? My mum loves Dr. Martins. Uh, you get something very prestigious. Is it? You're known as the smartest person to ever come on pitch side. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've the, always, I've always wanted knowledge. to be that. Yeah, <laughs> so you You'll go. have a ball knowledge level with Theo Baker. Uh, wow. That is a title that you want to get. One week, you have to give me a quiz. And I, and I, we're not on the leaderboard yet. No, we're not. No, we're not. We have not. to do that. Yeah. So, question number one. This is outrageous. Can we answer as well? Just yeah, but we've got to let Joel take the okay. first answer. Okay. okay. Who is the youngest manager to win a Premier League title? And obviously, oh. play along in the comments down below as well. And okay. just try to cheat. Um, well, the youngest manager be, to win a Premier League title. That should be pretty easy. Um, yeah, I think it is easy. I, I think. Let me double confirm, but it, it, it's going to be Jose, or, or I think Conte was a little bit older, but. It, I, I want to go for Jose because I'm thinking of young Jose when he just won Chelsea, the Champions Chelsea. League. Yeah, it's got to be Jose. I think it is Jose Mourinho. Is there a Pep Guardiola shout in there? <sighs> yeah, Surely true, Jose, yeah. Jose was, well, he had more hair. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah that's what you might be thinking. Like, it's, just because it's Pep true, had though, less you know, hair, that was is he a, actually younger? Nah, you know what? Yeah, I think by that time, Pep came and won the league for the first time. What He's going to win it for the fifth time. So you, he probably came in in, what, the 2006? 17 season and then if you take that that's probably like eight years after the whole Barcelona thing at Barca he must have been I need to buy Munich in there as well and didn't then he? There's, yeah, at Barca, well, Jose, yeah. Jose's not crazy old now and yeah. he won it what 16 yeah, years no, ago so I, reckon, years I reckon it's Jose you know? I think it's Jose Mourinho mm. the correct answer is Jose Mourinho did you see me try to carry the one take away the five carry the one <laughs> come on Jose Mourinho yeah yeah did you say Jose as well I didn't give him Nah, he was, oh, trying, okay. he was trying to give the whole, oh, maybe Pep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just staying part. I'm staying impartial for this one. <laughs> yeah. One out of one. Come on. You're level with Ben Foster. And Cal Freezy. And Cal Freezy. <laughs> <And Cal> Freezy. <laughs> <laughs> he can't really just sit there and get one. Yeah. I bet he didn't care either. 
Probably not. Actually. Uh, Question number two. Go on. There are only 11 clubs who have won oh. both the Champions League and the Europa League. But which club has the most cup wins combined? Ooh. It's definitely not Sevilla. It would have been nice. Champions League and Europa League. Combined. I I think I'm gonna I'm gonna No but let's be honest, yeah. Don't try to trick me here. Was the Europa League the Europa League when they were winning it, the other club? I don't know. Or, or, it or was it or was it It counts, it counts. I told you. Okay. But see, yeah. So the obvious I've got one name in my head, but I'll let you guys talk first. Yeah, what UEFA know. Cup and so UEFA Europa and And whatever the Premier League was but Champ the European Cup. Yeah. Liverpool. You reckon really? I think I think I think Madrid. On. I think Atletico, Real, or yeah, Ma- Real Madrid or is Liverpool. What I was Do you reckon Real Madrid? I yeah, because of the history, the whole ten. Bro, they've won it. They've won it over ten times. Yeah, but I don't know if that. I don't know if they've won the other cup as well. Just thinking of does someone go under the radar at the or UEFA like Cup? Nottingham Forest. No, <laughs> well, <laughs> Villa. no, but how many times have Atletico? Damn you, Forest! How many times Atletico won the UEFA Cup? In the part, I don't know. It's a bit nah, of a exactly. I, no, I don't really well, remember them. It was the Cup for a bit, wasn't yeah. it? it was the Emery <laughs> yeah, Cup, really. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm going to go Real Madrid. Sorry, you can't just nick my answer and then it's say it for me. Nah, I think I think that's a that's a good shout. To be fair, I want to say Liverpool. If if it's not Liverpool, if it's not Real Madrid, I'm going to be pissed. But I'll go with Real. You are going Real? I don't trust you. Yeah. The correct answer is Real Madrid. Come on. Two out of two. Yes. We're not going to be bottom. <laughs> We're rising. We're rising. Get it. Uh. What, what's the bonus? Yeah, I got the boat, but then no one else gets a bonus point. You know, do a fun, a fun, a fun thing, but it doesn't actually count. How many trophies is the team? Is that combined for Real Madrid? Like this one, ten, isn't it? I, I, oh, com- did they ever win? Did they win the other ones? Uh, I'm gonna go 14. with thirteen. Fifteen. Oh, wow. Yeah, Fifteen. Not far away. Right. I Chris, thought you were trying to be clever. I was gonna say ten. <laughs> Question Dang. number three. There are only four of the eight stadiums still in use from the 66 World Cup. Can you name Wembley. all four? Yeah, Wembley well, do doesn't mean, count. No, I was going to say, oh. are they remade? Like, are they. Do you mean that like when you say what stadiums? You, they're still in use still today. But Wembley doesn't count. Oh. Why not? Because it was rebuilt. Oh, okay. That's that's what that's yeah, the yeah. question so I was going to say. The they... stadium, yeah. Really? Yeah. From the '66. Well, I'm there's guessing they would have had refurbishments done to them. All oh, right. So, uh, but then, then, that, but then yeah, but you can refurbish kind of... it without knocking it down and rebuilding I've a new got, one. Like Wembley got... got knocked down and they rebuilt a whole new stadium. I think, but I think like, I've got one. Go on. You're thinking of all those old ones, like Villa. No, no. QPR it's got, it's and... got old in the name, so I imagine it would be old. Old Trafford. I think that might have been one, right? I'm, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, surely. Well, that's surely. A, that's I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Surely. How do we, how do we do this? Do we are, say. Are they. Are they can we. Can is we, it, can, we, we get we all know? four for one point? I thought, he, I thought I was going to break him down with the stair. <laughs> he just said, nah, mate. Four. He's <laughs> ruthless. I know you, okay, I know so you, I know you like my boots in there. Yeah, but is Old Trafford one? Old Trafford is one. Okay. Okay, cool. We're a quarter of the way there. All right, cool. You've got to think of. You've got to think of teams that have been at grounds for so long mm. and also had quite large capacities because it was a world cup i don't obviously this is your quiz we can't we can't be too much in no but, but i, I think couple, he's i yeah. thought of a couple in my head i i think and i could be wrong i think villa's one of them because it's a good shout i don't see where villa played before villa park from what i know anfield That's what surely, I, was, I was gonna say i was thinking anfield. surely anfield or uh Fratton Park? Very old. It's quite it old. Is, isn't Goodison's it? old. <laughs> very sorry, Portsmouth. I love it's sorry, but yeah, it's, uh, but yeah it's, it's, it's very, yeah. But I, d- I still don't know. They wouldn't have Anfield and Goodison in the World Cup. No, then they would have gone Anfield. Yeah, it's true. Um, well, they wouldn't have had Anfield. I think they would have gone Anfield. Over they would have gone Anfield. They? Oh, Goodison. I don't think so, but how old's Anfield? Which one's older? Who knows? I just feel like Anfield was around. I don't they know why. They would have a Liver- they'd have a Liverpool stadium. So then it'll it's be the Anfield. World Cup, right? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Oh, but, but did you definitely say not Park? Park? Okay, so let's let's get three yeah, more Villa. names on the board. All right. Come on. What are you gonna go for? I Final think Villa ones. Park's a really good shout. Do you reckon? Yeah, Bergen. Villa. Can't be Newcastle. Sorry, I, I'm just gotta quickly go through them. Like 
can't be Newcastle because St. James is too new for that. It's built. Yeah. Stamford Bridge, do you reckon that was one? Too, too know, new? That was, too that, new? That might be too new, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. It is an old stadium. Obviously, they've done refurbishments to it, but it is an old stadium. You're the worst, you are. It's um, just tough, man. Okay, you know what? We just got to go for it. You got to go for it. Villa Park, Anfield. What's the other one that we said? Well, we said Goodison, but that's the same nah, place. I can't. I can't. I, can't I, I I'm not having Goodison. Can Villa Park, are? Anfield. Ugh, it's proper tight that stadium, isn't it? Mm. Like, Sellers Park. Would they have? A, would they nah, have another one in London it's, it's, alongside Wembley? That seems a bit ridiculous. Because usually it's like one town, one place per town, isn't it? Forest. It's yeah, good shout. Yeah. Midlands Club. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, I, let's I'll go, go with it. that. Villa, Forest, and Anfield. Sure. Which one was oh, that? Which one? Villa, Villa Park. Park is well, my Villa one, Park. yeah. Yeah. What was the other? Yeah. yeah. Goodison Park. Are you fucking You're serious? Joking. Goodison over Anfield. Oh my god, man. <laughs> and Hillsborough. Oh, Hillsborough. Didn't even know really? that was a stadium. Oh. So Goodison Park was one because obviously people can't hear Jamie. But, Fuming. Goodison Park and Hillsborough. It was definitely one of the Liverpool ones. It's right? mad because it there's be. a clip of me saying I'm not having Goodison. Yeah. <laughs> also, I think I said Villa. Nah, Joel said it. Yeah, Joel definitely said Villa Park. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right, two out of three. Good start. Yeah, still. yeah. Good start. That's cool. that's a, that's so a hard one. No, point. Yeah, is that is that one point? Yeah, apparently. Come on. It's outrageous, Jamie. Yeah, come on. We've got two out of four. Come on. Right. Well, I know at Cal Freezy won't. You know what I mean? He won't get one of them. Come on. Oh, man. Question mate. number four is a true or false. All right, go on. Michael Ballack mm. is one of five footballers to have an asteroid named after him. True or false? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He was the man in Germany, though, isn't it? True. Yeah, can... The answer is? is it... It's true. Ah, oh, three out of four. Can you name one of the other four? What, I'm going to go with... What, what, the other four asteroids? Yeah, Ronaldo. Oh, you mean players? <laughs> it's it's, it's uh, got to be like Messi Asteroid the Messi Schweinsteiger asteroid. Maradona <laughs> would, Wait was yeah. it Is it German? Ma yeah, like, if anyone's going to have something It'll be Maradona in oh, it okay. oh, He has a religion who, who was it? Who are the other ones? The others were Johan Cruyff Johan oh, Cruyff Asteroid Josef Bikan nah, Josef Bikan Asteroid uh, Frank Puskas Puskas Asteroid Puskas Arsene Wenger. No way! <laughs> really? Didn't know that. But you're on three out of four. Wenger. This is it. Wait, hang on. This could be pitch right history. Do you reckon the Puskas asteroid is like the best looking one? All uh, right, you know what? Let's just get to this. I want to get my four, mate. This and is then pitch, just... oh, pitch side. History. <laughs> piss three, uh, piss three, pitch side history. Um, this is a who am I? I have played for 16 clubs oh in gosh. eight different countries. Pele named me as his greatest player of all time. The Portuguese press gave me the nickname El Beetle. After El Beetle. El Beetle. <laughs> after a world-class performance against Lisbon the same year as winning a major international tournament. I have two Football League first division wins, a, Euro a European Cup, and a Ballon d'Or. Oh, my God. Blimey. 16 clubs in eight countries. A Ballon d'Or. The first division, so it's got to be someone. Pele called him the the best, greatest player of all time. But Pele so is he old or is like he is he new? Is he old or is he new? That's the question. No, well, not, he, no, he no, no, no. I'm wanna... not asking the question, but I mean, like, that's what you got to work out. Is it a player that was from Pele's generation, or is it a player that Pele now he's old has gone? Oh, that guy. Oh, well, the, the Portuguese. I'm guessing if he's a Portuguese press gave him oh against Lisbon, El Beetle. So I'm thinking someone. You know, like a... <laughs> with six arms. <laughs> six arms, a shell on his back. <laughs> now, I'm thinking someone's small and like a, like a beetle, you know, like a... <laughs> fast. Okay, what's the question again? Because I'm really going to... Who am to... I? Who is it? <laughs> okay, 16 clubs in eight countries. Okay, 16... Hold on. That's the one. Yeah. That is just really difficult. But they would have 16... played in England because they've won two first division titles. Are you... First division, so that's not Premier League. That's first division. Yeah. So it is in an old player. player. Yeah. Quite, uh... um, European on. Cup and a Ballon d'Or. It's one of those guys in the 80s or something that it's just like... Oh! Oh, I don't know. I got a shout. I don't know. Actually, mm. what they, let me read it. What's the thing? That's mad. Nickname LB. This is a little bit hard. Best performance against Lisbon. I've got a shout. 
I've got a oh, shout. I've got a shout. Are you thinking of the shout I'm thinking of? I don't know. You're shouting in my... No, 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 don't whisper, just in case. All right. I got two shouts. I don't know if they won the Ballon d'Or. I would have just assumed they did. Oh, I might end up saying this and I seem stupid, but I don't know. Yeah. We're going to seem stupid <laughs> yeah. anyway, aren't we? I don't want to say it. <laughs> my shout is a British player. Oh, no, mine's not British. Oh. Okay. Well, I was thinking... Oh, yeah. I'll... Yeah, but he ain't... I think I know who you're talking about, but he ain't got a Ballon d'Or. Damn it. Was you thinking Gaza? Yeah. And then he also, the other, got, the other thing was Ballon George Best. That would have been El a good Beetle. shout. But yeah. that would have been... Did George that... Best play for Well, I think El Beetle, he looked countries? like a member of the Beatles. <laughs> I, I understand what you're trying to do. But did George Best play in like six, eight different yeah, countries? Yeah, he went to America. <laughs> so, so like, do you remember he went down... <laughs> So towards the end of best career, he was all over the shop. Fellas gone, mate, you look like Paul McCartney. <laughs> Let me call you El Beatle. And he won, and he would have won the first division. He would have won the first division. He won mate. European Cup with Man United. Mm. Oh, mate, if it's actually George Best and I've laughed in your face, you know what? Yeah, that is the, the reality is that's a very good shout. And I'm, if I would, obviously, I have to share the the spoils. But was he the, was he really like that? promiscuous in terms of teams that's, really... that's the thing I don't I, I don't I, I don't know him to be I don't know if he I just went just like a United slash well Callum Callum is United. American so you definitely you've moved over to America but I just think he went all over the place okay Palmy so what, what all... about what about let's think about this for a minute Glenn Hoddle he didn't do that much did he he didn't I mean he didn't move around that much did he and he's definitely he didn't win Ballon d'Or did he Glenn Hoddle no so it can't be Glenn Hoddle um, what's his name uh, soon as I'm not even was he, he's British was he I think he is British I was going to say Hullet but I don't know if he won a Ballon d'Or 60 dead Hullet didn't play 16 countries 8, eight, eight countries 16 clubs how do you know I know Hullet <laughs> I met him a few times the first, first but the only reason why I said that first Beatles, division, first that division. I wouldn't, that's not Hullet you no know, Chelsea wouldn't have won first yeah, division yeah exactly no I'm, I'm sticking with my best shout oh, you know back your gut who was it? Gazza? Wait, 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 Carry on. What? Don't worry. What just happened? No, don't worry. <laughs> uh, I don't think he won a Ballon d'Or, but I'm just going to say Hullet. Hullet. No, no. Go on. Go. Yeah. He's made it to the side of history. George Best. Oh! He laughed in my face! He laughed in my face! That is four out of five. Wait, so. Joel has taken it. Well, I feel like you did it for me, to be honest with you. You carried me. And they called him El Beatle because he looked like a member of the Beatles. Oh my god! <laughs> This little bastard, man. He's right. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I, 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 the I, I did agree with him. <laughs> Just saying. I'm sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. That was good. <laughs> Mate, when, when people really say, good? when people come at me, show them that clip. Does Baker know ball? You laughed in my well, face. I, I you know did. what? That happens one too many times. There's too many times that you laugh in my face and I actually know what I'm talking about. But do you know about. what threw me off? I didn't know he played for that many clubs. Yeah, yeah see, I know. But I didn't, Georgie that's best. what put me off because I thought, hang on a minute. Did he? Yeah, it's true. Is but he it? was all over I, the I've got to go watch the, the documentary yeah, who did he Look at that. He was all over the gaff. I knew it. Who did he play for before at, United then? Look at that. I told you, he went So what, after the United, world. he just, oh, after. Jewish Guild, he, he just got Dunstable, his, loan, yeah, didn't even, he didn't even make an appearance. He just went to party around the world. Stockport, free, and they're all like free appearances, free yeah. appearances. Yeah. <laughs> LA 23, Fulham Fuck 42, you know. fancied it. Yeah, fancied uh, LA Fulham. went back to LA 32 this time. Uh, Blimey. Lord of Rose Strikers 28. Just, Jesus. It's funny because Hong Kong back, Rangers for a game. <laughs> one appearance, didn't fancy it. Reeve, I Bournemouth think you, 5, yeah, Brisbane Lens. Yeah. Sorry, no, no, no. What do you mean, Reeve? Do this one. little I thing at the camera. You started off by saying, I think. It would have been a guy who went like a beetle. That's exactly so, how he was. What the, no. No, because he means cutting through, you yeah. know, like, yeah. come on. Two yeah. meanings of El Beetle. Mate, think about it. <laughs> you, just, you just need to go home, think about it, come back tomorrow and apologise to me. I'm not. I'm going to be here tomorrow. Apologise to me right I, now. I, I, I said sorry beforehand. I I'll said I'm so sorry. I literally 
cuddled you and said, I'm so sorry. Well, Pitch side no, history, ladies and gentlemen. Pitch side high score, thank you very much. I'd like to give a massive shout out to my co-hosts, uh, the boys. I wouldn't have done it without them. Really good shouts. Uh, and yeah, hopefully this is a record that will stay forever. God damn it. Pele right. thinks George Best is the best footballer of all time. No, but he did, to be very honest, I do actually remember him saying that. Really? Yeah, that I do. Like he says it about a lot of people. But he does. He, he says, one of them. honestly, it's like his thing before the World Cup. Yeah. He bigs up whoever. Yeah. The only person he struggled to really big up is like Ronaldo. And I, I just think. Yeah, he doesn't like him, does he? Getting a bit close to his yeah, goal scoring. Yeah, record. I, think, I think that's because, you know, somebody oh, he is, does, isn't he? No, I think he's, he's yeah, overtaken yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. Just Pele so counts his training. So they had a little <laughs> beef in it. So, but besides that, he gives it up. But I heard the George Russell. Right, we're going to do it. It's like a quick, quick fire. Wait, is, don't they have a film together? What, best and Escape to victory. Who's what, that George, George Best and Pele. I don't think Pele was. Uh, George Best was in that, was he? Was he? Sorry. I Should I remember. Google that? Please, if you can. I mean, I've I've laughed at something that was factually correct before, yeah, so I, I shouldn't remember. really do that again. Don't worry. About I don't it. know if he made an appearance. I'm not sure. Oh, you know, football historians are just throwing stones at me at the moment. You prick. You know nothing. Jamie, make sure that goes on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> what? As if you as if you don't get enough clips. <laughs> Nah, you got to give him his time to shine. You oh, know? I did. I did. I, oh, I said, I apologize. Man. No, George Best um, wasn't in. He wasn't it. We're going to oh, do, okay. we got predictions. Okay. We don't need score lines. You can throw us on if you want there. Okay, go on. But uh, we say who wins, who draws. You know, that works. Cool. Quick fire. So this is game week 22. <laughs> Let go. Friday night, Brighton at home to Palace. The A23 derby. M23. You know what? I give it. I give A27. it. A27. I, gi- <laughs> I well, give it. Say the correct one then. Otherwise, it's <laughs> M23 Derby. Sorry, mate. It's my luck. Lo- too many A23. You know, Jamie. You know what I'm talking about down there. A23, A27, M23 is where I'm from. You know how to do it. Anyway. Two all. <laughs> Two all draw. Two all draw. I think Palace have got like yo-yo results. Like they should be doing a little bit better. Yeah. yeah. But then they, they'll they lose one, but then they'll come back the next game. I think Patrick Vieira is doing, doing a, a good, good job. job. Really good job. Um, and yeah, I think Brighton are okay. But yeah, I think it'll be a draw. I'm going to go, I, I think, I was going to say a draw, but I think Brighton might edge it. I'm going to go Brighton. I'm really? Go Brighton. Yeah. Uh, did Palace lose their last game though? Uh, we check? Because I don't see them losing two games in a row. Uh, didn't they beat Norwich 3-0? Palace lost to West Ham 3-2. Yes, uh, and, I don't see, and I don't see Vieira. He just doesn't su- strike me for the guy that wants to lose back to I think it'll be games. a tight game though. Yeah. I'm going Brighton, you're going Brighton, you're going draw. Mm-hmm. Uh, big game. Early kickoff, never back the early kickoff. Man City at home to Chelsea. Oh, what a tie. Well, it would have, it would have been like if you'd have taken the league standings like two months ago, but now it's just like yeah, City. Really so nice. far ahead, they can afford to lose it. So, yeah, but I, I think it's still City. Why? Because if I am Pep Guardiola, you're a manager that needs to find a way to encourage your players every game. Now, mm. don't forget, Chelsea beat them last time. So if I'm him in the change rooms, Wait, sit down. What did you know? City won one nil at Stamford Bridge. Oh, did they? Yeah. Jesus scored. Oh, was it? Oh, my bad. Yeah. But then I still think you go, sit down, nobody talk. Mm. And then he'll... Yeah. So he's going to do the back-to-back, the two-time over two I show. Think I think City win. And, and, and if, if not that, if not because of what happened this season, because of everything that happened last season. Yeah, he's got a bit between his teeth, right? Because, yeah. I'm going to give Manchester City as well. Man City and... City. City. Yeah. Three cities all bored. Yeah. Burnley at home to Leicester City. I'm going to go with a draw. I'm really? Good. Nah, Leicester got this, man. They ain't been great this season, but They have surely. like 18 people out, don't they? 17, who, 18. Who, Leicester? Yeah. <laughs> then, yeah, let's go for a draw then. Let's sit on that fence. What are you doing? Uh, one all. Leicester City. And you've got to back your hometown. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that is that you, yeah? Okay. It is. The mighty Newcastle. Yeah. Signing players Come at on. home to Watford. Who do you reckon they'll have by this point? Mate, half the country. Because it's Saturday, isn't it? So it's got to be Newcastle. If if Newcastle don't win against Watford, yeah. I think Watford are the only. I think wherever they are on the table, I still feel like Watford's the worst team. <laughs> <laughs> Better than Norwich. I think Watford are no nah, Norwich are the worst. Yeah, yeah, Norwich are the worst. Like a whipping boy. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know she's like yes. Yeah. Is, have um, you seen they're after Alexander Isaac? The talks with <sighs> basically whoever's whoever's. Um, like the focal point of another team's transfer target, they're now going, oh, we'd also like him, <laughs> please. Who, hey, Newcastle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, basically, they're just not thinking for themselves. They're like, oh, who's Stopping everyone else signing yeah, yeah. so they get everyone. Yeah. Uh, I'm going Newcastle. 
Yeah, I'm also yeah. going to go Newcastle. Newcastle. Also. Norwich at home to Everton. The two That's shitters. A, that is a tough. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to be different. I'm going to put it on Norwich. You know, Norwich to win. I don't know how really? Rafa Benitez still has a job. Like, I wake up every uh, yeah. morning and I'm like, and he's talking about buying players. I'm like, you what? Like, <laughs> you were supposed to be gone two weeks ago. Um, nah, yeah, you got to go no, um, Everton in it, really. Everton. You have to. Everton. I'm going Norwich. Mm. Right, Wolves at home to Southampton. Can, sorry, can I switch? Can I go to Norwich? You're back can I go Norwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Everton are dead, man. They're dead. They are crap. And they almost beat United. And they did beat Arsenal. <laughs> they, yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah. Last minute worldie from Damari Gray. Oh, yeah. man. Wolves at home to Southampton. But Bami Angst just scored like three Don't. that game. Not with that guy. <laughs> Wolves at home to Southampton. Damari Gray. It was Damari Gray, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Bloody heck. Go on. Wolves at home. Southampton. I'm going with. Wolves home win. Yeah, yeah same. me too. Yeah. 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 Sensible. Villa. Stevie G mm. at home to United. I'm mate. I'm. That's a draw, you know. I'm going Villa. They're signing players. You know what? Based off what mate, I saw mate, yesterday, you know yeah, I yeah, think Villa Villa are going to win. You know what? Coutinho I'm, I'm, I'm winner. Copying, I'm copying Theo here since he got the George Best question right. <laughs> Definitely going with Villa. Coutinho winner. I don't think he scores. I think it's just the hype. I think all it is is a placebo. It's the fact that they can actually say we can sign someone. I don't yeah, think yeah. he's going to be any good. Checking. Someone, yeah, some, my old football manager said to me, he goes, no, it wasn't. It was actually one of the guys from the five team. They said, oh, a 70% Coutinho still does bits. I'm like, if Coutinho was at 70%, he'll be able to get into that Barcelona team. And he yeah. can't. Yeah, so yeah. he's finished. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. not trying to hear it. I just think it's just a muscle move like for Villa. And, but I think I think they'll win. They got Dinho now as well. Mm -hmm. I think Villa to beat United. Liverpool at home to Brentford. Go Liverpool. No yeah. mo, no mo, no. Mane. I still think Liverpool got no a I, I think they got Jota. Winners. Come on, man. Yeah. So three Liverpools or I'm gonna get a draw. Oh wow! A, the last game was a draw. Fair three, play, three fair at play, Brentford, wasn't it? Do you reckon the uh, the COVID stuff's gonna knock them off focus then? Uh, All the claims. Yeah, but, well, you don't even know who's going to be out, do you? Well, Trent, Trent you see, might not be You playing. know how my conspiracy theory of Liverpool faking their COVID thing? Yeah, that's what we said, wasn't it? I said, I bet Liverpool just faking it so they don't have to play Arsenal. It all came out that maybe they were. And now it's being confirmed that they weren't. They were just uh, yeah, delayed was. tests or something. It was, like, no, the, the test centre they did fishy. it at. Fishy. Yeah, the test centre they did it at all returned positive and then they tested at a different test centre the day after and then everyone came back like yeah. negative. Like fishy. Mathematically incorrect, yep. I think it was. Oh, we haven't worked with Jürgen what in the, the future about that. Yeah, mate, don't, honestly. It's weird, isn't it? Uncovered it all. Uh, West Ham. <laughs> Conspiracy West Ham at home to again. Leeds. I'm going West, West Ham, man. Leeds yeah, are yeah, crap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Leeds yeah. are crap. Our editor at five, Mike, yeah, he's a Leeds fan and obviously <laughs> like every time we get beat, you know, I get bantered by the United yeah, lot, yeah. even though they don't deserve to banter Such anyone because the, they're mid-table, yeah. But like Leeds, I just look at him, I go, but Mike Leeds are crap. And then I remind him that he got beat 7-0 by Man City. So I'm going for West Ham. Yep, I agree. Three. North London derby. Spurs are at home. Ooh, I say Arsenal. it's going to be a draw, you know. Draw? Hmm. No Conte, Son, Conte's Arsenal. different, man. Conte's different, man. Like I, I can't. I know I'm supposed to be focusing on my team, but we beat them. We smashed them on September the 26th, my birthday. Three 0 no, Um, it? yeah, it was it was sick. I went with my dad for the first oh. time to the Emirates. Oh, that's sick. cool. Flew to the Good straight. one to take him to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Flew to the buy straight after. Oh, saw the clips. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, but I think on the return, I just think. I think Arsenal got a bit to prove after getting knocked out by Nottingham mm. Forest and I think Conte is not going to have it either. So it's a draw. I'm going Arsenal win. Me too. Really? Yeah. Yep. I hope you're right. No Son. Struggling defensively with a few injuries. I think we've got a full London strength derby, squad really, though, haven't we? So. Right. What's that? It's based on North London derby, isn't it? Yeah, but look what, look what the last one is. I think as Arsenal, we're so used to not winning big games. Yeah. But I think I'll just turn the leaf and... I think we're going to beat him. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Watford's second game of the week. Yeah, double game. Burnley at home. It? Well, Burnley's second game as well. Yeah. Burnley at home to Watford. Burnley. I'm going to go with a draw. And Reeve? I'm going to go... I'm going to go Watford. Okay. Brian at home to Chelsea. That's brave, by the way. It is brave. Ben Foster score the winner. <laughs> Chelsea. Chelsea? Mm. Yeah, draw. Nil, nil. I was going to go with a draw. Oh, nice. what? 
Yeah, I fancy Brighton. You're not drinking, man. What, what was the last Chelsea Brighton score? I can't remember. One but one. Danny yeah. Welbeck scored a last minute header. Oh yeah, but they're gonna have some grit. You got to. Yeah, but you they're, they're at home. Be... They're pretty so? good at home. So. Brighton this is two cal. Brighton are going to be on a on a high after beating Palace, and then they're going to go draw to Chelsea, and yeah. it's going to be like, damn, Let's damn man, damn wait. man. Make sure you message me these uh these. Yeah, we will. We can, yeah, please, because yeah. I want to see what you get right. Leicester at home to t- Spurs. You know, obviously, Spurs just lost Spurs. to Arsenal in the North Spurs. London derby. Yeah, well, I still say Spurs. Draw. I rate Conte. That's what it is. Mm. I I think they're crap, but I rate Conte. Right, so you're going Spurs, you're yeah. going draw, I'm going Leicester. Are you? Yep. Really? Yep. Interesting. Yep. Madison scored a winner. I don't think they've been that good this season. I neither do I, but I think Madison is playing out of his skin. He's the man. Yeah. Brentford at home to United, final game of the week. <laughs> uh, this sounds like I'm hating on United, but I think it's going to be another draw. I think. No, United. United to win that one. United to win. United yeah, to beat Brentford. They're, they're not been great in the last few weeks, so I'll say United. And you, they do need it. You're going to draw, or you're going, you're going Brentford. No, no, I don't think Brentford will win. I think they'll put up a fight. So I'm going to say Brent draw. Draw. I'm Brent, going United. Brent draw. <laughs> Joel, mate, been an absolute pleasure. We got one you final guys. thing to do before we end. Talk oh, yeah. to me. We got to sign the shirt of dreams. Oh yeah. Now where is that? Have so we lost the pen it. again, Theo Jamie? Spencer, Reeve. No, it should be on there. We're missing two names, and that is. Is it ben and Chris, Fos- the Foster and Chris, <laughs> um, but the basically the winner will N E. This is given to the winner of our FPL league um, at the end of the season. And if you want to join our FPL league, the code is GQXNGC. Man, <laughs> I'm gonna give the longest signature. They're gonna get the, not just Joel Bayer, cheeky sports. Oh, oh, they're getting the fish. The fish. Oh, the original mate. There we go. Nailed it as well, by the way. I suck at writing on shares. It's tough, isn't it? Yeah. It's a talent, you know. Look at that. And that's prime real estate as well. Mate, Joel, thank you so Come much. For, thank you so much for coming down. Yes, guys. Um, all, all links and stuff will be in the description, of course. No worries, man. Do it again sometime. Of course, man. And also, I want to see you guys in a fire building really soon. Mate, anytime. Let's honestly, have a yeah. chat. You know, and sort it out. Welcome, in, yeah, yeah, anytime, man. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, man. You, uh, nice. Come on. Follow like us on it. Spotify, Apple, subscribe on YouTube, rate us five stars, mm-hmm. please. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye bye. Peace.